This is who come out with a bang. Coach Minzy. Best round here. Remember that. All right, people, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for tuning in to another show, people. Yeah, we're here to discuss again the hot topic right now, the, the non-renewal of the contract of Lorne Donaldson, yeah, the top coach for the reggae girls. People, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new so that you can become a part of the Coach's Desk family. Uh, yeah, man. Tell a friend to tell a friend about us. Like, share, and subscribe. Also, big up to the persons on Facebook. Yeah, man. All the Facebook people, big up yourself. Thanks for tuning in. And we are here on uh, early, early, early live. Yeah? Early streaming of people. Early, early stream. You understand? We are here. And we will be having that discussion. It's a call-in show. And based off information that I'm getting um, today, it seems as if the situation is one that, based off where it was, would have been irreparable. Yeah? Tokyo, big up yourself. Fresh got in the building, big up yourself. You understand? It would have been um, irreplaceable, irreparable rather. And um, where it was, I don't think, I don't think it could have gone any further. But one thing I could say though, you know, if, if the reggae girls, and this is an if statement, a lot of us don't like, which is right, if the reggae girls had made it to the Olympic, they would have no chance, no other decision than to, you know, keep Lauren Donaldson. So that's why I'm saying in this, in this show, did Lauren Donaldson cause it on himself based off those last two games? Tuffy Road in the building, Johnny Powell in the building, big up yourself. So, based off those two games, and the other things that happened before, were, were those issues before, and what took place was the major contributing factor to this decision. Because, Apparently, you know, they didn't see eye to eye, of course, based off what took place in 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 the public sphere where London also was not what you'd call it now. He was not basically afraid to speak his mind on matters concerning the Jamaica Football Federation. And as such, he was, you know, basically seen as someone that is anti-JFF, even though he was collecting a check from them. So, I guess, and, and as, as we already know also that he wasn't the first choice or one of the options of the Jamaica Football Federation. It was basically the option of the girls at the time when they got rid of Vin Blaine. Now, this might spiral unless Lauren decide to, you know, talk to the girls and tell them to continue to hold the fort and not disappoint the fans and the persons who have, would have possibly worked hard to get the team to where it is, like Asidella Marley and others, Marley Foundation, yeah? So, I think he, he has a, a part to play in this whole debacle. And 
he's very influential, as we know. So it is it is it is really, really sad to see how this play out. And <laughs> with all that took place in the World Cup, you know. With all that took place in the World Cup. Then certainly it was a no-brainer. As 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 Cranky alluded to last evening, it wasn't a surprise. And some people were surprised, but a few of us weren't surprised. Especially knowing that he was on the cusp of possibly getting a stint with the US women's national team. Yeah? So that these these are, are situations that um really compound everything and i tell you it 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 is bad for the football it is bad for the reggae girls i mean it is a situation where the sport or female football has been developing it has taken a new um turn uh sponsors came on board people were seeing turnout at the national stadium greater than even the reggae boys when they played so the interest the level in 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 women's football was essentially taken off right and for this to happen now it is really 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 sad and basically i don't know if the departure of a coach you can really say it the, the football is on life support but it is a situation where he might have to, you know, reach out to some of these girls and say, hey, do it, do it for the um, stakeholders who st stood by us through thick and thin. He has gone on to a next chapter. I mean, don't allow the, 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 the football to go down the drain. So I think he has a very important part to play in, in, in a situation like this. And I, I certainly hope and believe that he will you know help the, the 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 girls in 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 making the necessary decision or the correct decision that is needed you know so that the the the, the football can actually be where it ought to be we have important women's gold cup qualifiers coming up i mean it is the first time it has been happening. It is going to happen rather. And we really want to, to see the, 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 the girls be a part of this historic moment. Yeah? So, I mean, it is what it is. But yeah, we're getting our first call, people. Welcome to the show. You're live on the coaches. Welcome to Good evening, coach. Oh, God. It's a dark day in Jamaica when petty feelings make you get rid of somebody who is doing a good job. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But with this federation, the football only going to suffer more and more because it's corruption after corruption and it's, it's mind boggling. Yeah, if you're lying, I break up Gregory. Would want to put up, but I'm saying there's a lot of us over here who would love to put our money where our mouth is. Mm. But with the corruption keep on coming up in this football federation, don't make it any good. <clears throat> These guys are petty. How can they get rid of a coach who is giving you performance. I mean, we agree like said there is more to fix. But you went to the World Cup, you went to the run of 16. As far as we know, that's the first a team out of Jamaica have gone so far in the World Cup, right or wrong? Yeah, man, you're right. So 
What are they doing? If they're going to keep on messing with the football, it's going to be a problem. But you know where the blame is? And I'm going to tell you where the blame is. Mm-hmm. The change is not going to come by we talking. It's going to come by the other association around who want the change. Instead of being bought out or get their brown envelopes, mm-hmm. time for them to take a stand. You got to stand for something. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that's where the problem lies. We talk cannot change it. But if you go through the 14 parishes and all of those leaders that's in control decide, okay, let's give them back the money and vote for a change. Do we think the change will come? That's where the problem lies. The corruption is not only there. <clears throat> the corruption is right through the football. And it's not going to get any better until all the FAs see that they got to change. But as long as people palm has been greased and people can buy the way back, into being the boss, there will be no change. You understand? So don't make sense we talk. It's only gonna be a same old, same old. How long have this been happening? Right? Mm-hmm. And here we go again. The ladies are playing good. They're doing fine. But look at what happened again. Yeah. But what, what, what you know, Carla, a lot yeah, of I some people challenge Lauren Donaldson all handling of the team in terms of the type of football that the girls play. Were they really ruthless? Were they really uh, moving from a stage of obscurity to um, being in stardom so to speak or they were just there still not reaching the ceiling as rich poor would say um there were there there's still a lot of, of work to be done and has he done what he was supposed to be done with the team with the girls okay my question to you have anybody they put forward done any better no his record speaks That's for it. himself Exactly. So how are you going to take somebody who, look, look at the mighty Brazil. You get me? Mm-hmm. Look at the mighty France. Did you, you watch the match with France and US? France trash US. Right? And Jamaica hold them to a draw. Right? So this is all petty. It's petty. I listen to the latest tint of what Lord Anasi said. Mm-hmm. Can you take a man into a meeting in less than five minutes? Come on, man. That's disrespect. You don't treat a big man like a boy. It's rude. These guys don't want to go for the football. And they're going to do it and continue doing it until all the sponsors disappear. Don't we all see? They're choking the life out of the football. And the more the people talk, the more they do. You understand? And the better will not come, as I say, until the 14 parishes, the people that's in charge, have to see the change and decide to vote because those are the people who vote, right? Mm-hmm. So talking ain't going to change it because over the years we talk and we talk and we talk. Same nonsense, right? 
And I want to tell you something too. Guess what? Mr. Hargum have to watch himself because guess what? He and Craig Butler is best friend. Get what I'm saying? I will tell you that. All right. <laughs> All right, court. <laughs> I'm telling you something else. You know what I'm saying? We're not, we're not, we're not fools. Though. You know, and I know. <laughs> but these guys are petty. Right? The man who tell the coach that his contract is not being renewed. I have done my research and I can tell you something. <laughs> Guess what? Everywhere this guy go to be a secretary, they get rid of him. Mm -hmm. Things go wrong. His track record is not good. That's Mr. Chong. So the Federation, yes. So the Federation know that nobody wants him. So guess what they do? They are full in the spot with people who are loyal to themselves. And they are not the one who are going on the field and playing the football. And so how the change is going to come? Hmm? We are here in the States and we are paying attention. But these guys have to do better. If we don't get rid of them, the football is not going nowhere. Mm. They are literally sabotaging the girls. Right? They never expect the girls to reach the run of 16 mm -hmm. They wanted them to fail. You think so? Everybody can look and everybody can look and see. But, but why why All no, right, let's, hold on, hold on. No. Why would you say they, right, they want them to fail when they are boasting? I, I see my crickets boasting, you know. Say so my in my he has been the best president in the in 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 in, in, in no, the life of, of, of JFF, you know. Because of what? He qualified two teams, the girls team to, the, to, the world, to the World Cup. That facade, you know what's a facade? All a sham. You hear me, coach? If we look at this thing logical and look deep into the thoughts, when the girls lost any game, I get it first, and that this guy was literally happy and laughing. <laughs> they were not good, for, they're not happy for the girls. Look at this tax thing. The girls are supposed to get each of them are probably about sixty thousand dollars each, mm. and from sixty thousand dollars to thirty-three thousand dollars. Look at it. Sabotage. Sabotage. You're trying to let Cinella look good, but Cinella is letting them look terrible. And until the football comes out of these people's hands, it's going to suffer. No matter how we beat our gums up and say things, it's going to constantly suffer. You think if money was not there, you think they would be holding on like this? None of them want to let it go, coach. Look at it. If you were doing something, and you're not making money off it. What are you going to do, coach? Let's be realistic. What are you going to do? You're going to let it go, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And these guys hold on for life. <laughs> they're sucking the life out of it. Mm -hmm. And they're taking every cent out of it. Because they don't care. These poor people, kids, they'll get the youths. Their kids are going to college. Dear kids are living good life. Yeah. It's just like the whole entire system in Jamaica. The government can't say anything because they themselves are corrupt. So they have they cannot even step in. How can you step in to correct something when you were the government corrupt? How can you step in to help the football? They can't. 
You understand what I'm saying? But, but Carla, you have to be careful, you know, because me yes, I, I see it up yeah. for a FIFA officer, you know. So you know it's a JFF under watch. So when you say yeah, but so let me tell you what happened. Me not think that I go on. Let me tell you what happened, man. Now we all know. When FIFA is coming, this is what happened. FIFA call and tell them we are coming to see the books. No, but somebody's there. The but person it... has not left. Yeah, but they're hiding the books. No, no. Coach, hiding the books. Look at it. <laughs> These guys are tricksters, man. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on, coach. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Coach, we're not fooling. We're not fools. Well, uh, the people ever want to leave a thief, the people ever want to leave a thief, a thief, a call, because they're not nah, here clearly, you know, you're like no. you're a whisper. No, nah, man. And, 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 so no, nah, man, remember that. I'm aware. I'm upstate. <laughs> I'm in upstate New York, so it's a little bit here. It's kind of rugged. Mm. I understand. But what I'm saying to you is, these guys are like tree card, man. They're tree cards. Have you ever heard any of them talk in the truth? No. They go on national television and national radio or some stuff. And then behind the closed door, the lies keep on spewing out. And letting them look stupid. The people don't trust them. I guarantee you over time all the sponsors are going to pull away. If FIFA don't step in and clean up the mess in the Federation, Jamaica football is going to be fully doomed, dead, over. You understand? We are looking in trouble. We are looking at trouble. They don't care about, they don't care about the girls. They don't. They don't they want them to fail. What's a tax paper? If you sign a tax paper, all you need is just a signature and a coach. And the girls can get the money, you know. So why you will forget to sign a paper and let thirty-three thousand dollar coach? Come on, man. That is straight sabotage. Sabotage coach. They don't love the football. They love the money. You understand? So that's what the money in a, money money no money in a, in a football in a Jamaica. Yeah, but coach, the money where them get from Adidas. And you know where them get money from FIFA. Right? And plus, all right, I listen to the youth in the Canada. No, the youth got a match. How can you send how much people go? To the match and FIFA bluntly said the way to cut down the expenditure is to stop this. All it takes in a coach is just a signature, you know. Mm. But the man refused to sign it. Why? Because he got to give his friend and cronies ticket, boost them so they can vote for him, paint the palm. That's what it is. If you cut down all of these people, which is going. And those money stay back, then you can pay everybody. Yeah? But guess what? This one wanna go because of a per day man, certain amount of money they're gonna get. It's all about money. When such and such man turn up, they get a certain amount. Yeah, me me, me, me have a problem with and a lot, from day one me come on this program where I talk about that something. There. See? Exactly. This, this 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 shoveling team were big and Everybody yeah. don't have to go. So it obviously them want to collect the podium. Yeah? Exactly. And it is facts that one of the man collect like eight thousand dollars each time. Equal to one of the match. Mm. So that's what they're going after code is the money. If you're doing a job again as it you and you're not getting paid, you're not gonna stay in it. You're gonna look something else. <laughs> yeah? Exactly. <laughs> so why what are they holding on to if they're not making anything? Hmm? Mm. They're always broke what? They're always broke. They always want. Yeah? They not even practice much. They provide for the girls. 
Yeah, the, those, and it goes those, to... yeah, yeah, those are deficiencies. Those are exactly. Deficiencies. And they go, yeah, they still go to the World Cup and they still do the best. And they still sabotage them. Don't take any big eye to see coach that they don't want the girls to achieve anything. They want to suffer them. They, del- they deliberately squeeze in the life out of the football like they don't want to get the youth to try. And as I said, the government can't step in because the government has their things dealing with. They can't say anything. So, it's gonna take the FA, the people that run the local FA, stand up and say, okay, let's vote this man out no matter what. That's how the real change is gonna come out. If that's not how it's gonna do, we're just beating up our gums in vain. You understand what I'm saying, Court? Mm. I live here for years now. And I love the football coach. No matter what, I watch every game. Yeah? And people are here who want to chip in to help. But how are you going to rub butter and push mouth? Make no sense? Make no sense. Hmm? These guys, they don't have to go and have a heavy game pay overseas. They don't have to go. They don't have to. Yeah? The big boss don't have to come to every match. He's supposed to be the one running the federation. Don't, don't the coach. So let me ask you a question. Hmm? You, have, you, have, you have your sources then, but no. Cool, no coach, man. <laughs> coach, these men are dangerous. <laughs> to the dangerous. football. I want to see it, coach. If we all decide to look out our eyes and really look at the situation, coach. Them the end of the football. Man, them say you are And them guess. <laughs> eh? Man, them say you are sir C. And a sir P, a sir C. <laughs> <laughs> no, but coach. Look, Paddy, it's, it's obvious. <laughs> it is obvious, coach. Petty squabbles. Cast them if you get rid of the man for what? Petty squabbles, you know? Yeah, but still don't know what's going on, you know, why, 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 why are one, of the reasons, one. one of the reasons why them, them, them threw it, or they did not renew. But everybody know that the woman named Helene Walker Brown, she did with her open mic and never knows her mic open and the girls here. Mm. And the girls decide, so we don't want her on the bus. But, 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 differently, yeah. Gregory. Gre- de- well, I don't mean, know if I should have called your name on the program, but because <laughs> you talk a lot of things. Anyways, <laughs> you're the upstairs. Uh, <laughs> <yeah. laughs> Go on, let me tell you something. These guys well, are well, dangerous. Well, I know, well, I know, well, I know, boss, man. Yeah. If you. Mm. Was in Coach Donaldson's position, would you have handled it mm. the way that he handled it? Can we have you know why you like that? Let me tell you why you handled it. You can't like fight that. fire with fire, you know. Let me tell you why you handled it like that. No, me know why you tell me that. Me want your answer before you tell me that. No, me answer me. No, me answer. Don't answer with me. Oh, him. Why you think him? <laughs> Answer me directly based on me asking you that question. If you were in that situation, All right, what would, would you have done the same thing? Yes, because it don't make no sense. And other people out there call for you to come, come coach them. And bigger money. Because right now the US, the US team, I call for him. Yeah, me hear that, me hear that, come, me hear that months ago. And Exactly, and other teams a call for him. So, so because so because him have a job, well, I know because him have a job line up and him don't need the reggae boys. Sorry, the reggae girls and the JFF again. Yeah, <laughs> him just do what him feel like to do and expect to get a renewal. I'm not doing feel. I'm not that coach. Let me tell you what it is. 
These people don't want you to talk the truth. They want to bridle you and keep you muzzled mm. like a bad dog. And when they muzzle you, you can't say anything. And if you let them muzzle you, they're in trouble. As I said, the next big coach have to watch himself. He got to be on chalk line. Yeah. Yeah, as, as, as Ryan said, a corruption around the thing. And it's the truth. And then it's not anything hiding, coach. It's right before our face. They don't kill us like, they, like they're saying to themselves. Whatever, they can't touch us. And everybody knows nobody can touch them because what is FIFA run the world governing football, yeah? And the only other way I see they can get in trouble, coach, is if the girls' soccer team send a petition and get the lawyer to honor it and the guys and send it off to FIFA. That's the only way I see they can get in trouble. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And they, and they have to write a letter and let the lawyer send it off to FIFA, asking for them to FIFA to step in and that's the only other way. But right now, it's a dark, rainy cloud hanging over Jamaica football. If these men continue for the next 10 years, it's doom. That's the truth. All right, so big up yourself, man. Coach. Yeah, man, you have a good night and yeah. heal up everyone down in the panel, down in the, in the chat. All right, cool. All right. All right. <laughs> what thing Gregory said. Yeah, understand. Hey, AM, big up yourself. No US team is calling for this coach. Donald was using the girls' performance to promote himself. He overplayed his card as of the wrong end of the stick his contract ends move on all right um rondon fitness what is your take on the donald's situation even if the jff won't get rid of donald's how it was done at the, based off what donald's said is total opposite of what um the jff press release was which sometimes that is for media purposes so Two different story, and even if you want to get your dime, do it the right way. <laughs> what is it? Executive summer, Jason. Mm. All right. Welcome to the show. You're live. The evening, coach. Yeah, man. What's going on? Not much. Hope all is well. Um, into the the the. Well, I only said dismissal. Um, his contract ending, I guess. Mm. Um, you know, I think we can all agree that it wasn't, you know, done in the best way possible, you know. Yeah. And you know, he'll have he'll have his say, and the JFF will have their say, you know. Um, in in this case, I don't think we'll ever know who is right, you know, because yeah. both parties Bad are luck. trying to paint the best. Yeah. In, yeah. Both parties are trying to paint the best images of themselves for whatever, you know, specific reason. Mm -hmm. However, pertaining to the regular girls coach and everything that surrounds them, you know, in terms of like sponsorship and, you know, the, the funds and the payouts to the girls, I think it comes down to how much do they care for the girls, you know? I know that the, the pertaining to the men's team, you know, we have our struggles, we have our difficulties and certain stuff. Mm -hmm. And there, there has been mismanagement at times. However, I feel like with, with, with the women's team and the women's game in general, coach, there's a stigma with it, you know. And I think over the past five years or so it's been it's been getting better in terms of it's being more open in terms of the markets out there and in terms of, you know, people viewing the game. But I feel like with the people in charge at the JFF, I don't think they see it that way, you know. I think they put that stigma on the girls where they don't care for it to any extent where they're willing to go the extra route to make sure that they have the best things available in terms of training 
and all these stuff, you know, whether they have the best facilities at the time available to can, you know, exercise and all these stuff before games and before friendlies, you know. I don't think the JFF has that, has the best interest at heart for the girls, you know, and more for the girls than the men. Because as I said, there's a stigma attached around, you know, the women's game. So with the JFF, I feel like that's one of the main things, you know. And it's almost like politics where, it reminds me of Jamaican politics and the government where, it's almost like they want you to succeed in a coach, but mm. they're not going to give you the tools required, you know? But guess what? If you do succeed, they'll take responsibility for it because guess what? You're still under their governance, you know? And I've, I've always said to people, if you look at the development of football in Jamaica over the past couple of years, it hasn't been down to the JFF really and truly. It's been down to strong people in the country who go out there and seek dedication and come back mm. are people that's living in the country that's willing to go the extra mile to make sure that the players, whether in school boy football level or at the professional level, they, 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 they go the extra mile to make sure that these players can have better, you know, so they can develop and go elsewhere in Europe or in the United States of America. You know, so it reminds me of the, the government in terms of them not going to give you what, what is required, you know. If you look at Jamaica in general, across schools, etc., just look at certain standards being set in institutions across the country. The government not really do nothing for the people, coach. So why we expect JFF to do nothing for the girls? I get me, I say it's the same mindset, you know, the, these people have in, in these positions across Jamaica and some of these um, federations. You get me, I say mm-hmm. it's the same mindset. And, and, and the coach... You know, his contract came to an end and, you know, I heard, you know, Ryan talk about it and how it was done. And if it is true, coach, you, you can't do things like that. You get me? I say, what type of picture are you painting of the federation? The federation, they need to understand, you know, coach. And they don't represent themselves. They don't represent the Jamaican. And, and, and yeah, go, ahead, go ahead, coach. Boss Thomas just put a message to strengthen that point that you're saying, you know. Because if they're going to have a meeting of this magnitude to discuss contractual agreement, whether we civil or we we continue based off what we believe that you have brought to the table. Notes and all of these things should have been making, uh, should have been made or you know, audible audibles and so forth. But he's saying that if that was done, or these information will put the argument to rest. But based off what Coach Donaldson said, Boss Thomas, nothing of the sort happened. That did not happen. When he left the meeting in, in, in less than five minutes, he said, one person that was supposed to be in the meeting, Denzel Wilkes, thought he was going somewhere. And I must say, oh, I've, I've done the meeting, done, you know. Like him, and I said, done the meeting, done. So the, 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 the level of, and again, we don't know who to really believe because one party said that less than five minutes one said that it was an extensive meeting <laughs> but more while we have to stick to the side of of, of the coach for me still you know because yeah sometimes the jff put out some information you when know, so accurate i mean i'd rather believe the coach because yeah. over the years they've been inept you know so why exactly. would we just turn around and say you know what we'll yeah. believe what you are saying i even heard something about him reaching there early like they would have stated that the meeting is at 10 o'clock he reached there even before that and mm-hmm. they're going to say oh well in two hours time you know I even heard that the president was there are certain people that you think yeah. that, that people think that you should be there and, and listen coach if you're going to if you're going to say you know what we're not going to continue with you again whoever makes that decision which it has to go by the president right if he's going to call a shot he himself needs to be there you need to be the man and be in that meeting yourself. Because at the end of the day, you call the shots. And if 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 Donaldson did say certain stuff about them that they didn't agree with, you know, personally, I'm going run a business and I'm going to say certain stuff and me kind of keep him if I'm not really agree with it. You get me as a coach? So if they wanted to part ways, part ways with him, fine. But just go about it in a more professional manner, you know, because at the end of the day, you run a federation and representing the country on a whole, you know? And we can't have people who go by representing the country like this in this in this form of money, you know, because every, everything is in the media now. And this is no longer legacy media coach where you can get certain things out or suppress certain things, you know. You have yourself and many other people on YouTube who, you know, them get information, you get me, I say? Mm-hmm. 
So the J, the JFF have to fix up, but blessing still coach. All right, a fo- football religion we call it, right? Yeah. Yeah, man. Somebody do want to know your name in the comment section. Big up yourself, man. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, yeah, people. So let me tell you now where all this thing really. And this is all allegations, you know, based off what Mr. Donaldson is saying. His side of the story. You understand? And uh, it is a situation where Coach Donaldson is saying that himself and Mr. Chung, they don't say eye to eye. Oh, let me read this super chat from Kyle. Lon Donaldson, J.A. most successful coach, without question, whoever comes next has to be at his level and achieve more. He has set the bar. All right, Kyle, big up yourself. Cranky, big up yourself, you know. Yeah, so, basically, he's saying that they have they, they don't say eye to eye. See? And that he believes is a contributing factor to him not getting his contract renewed, yeah? Now, he, he said that, Mr. Chung said, from day one, um, women's football will never catch on in Jamaica and people will never support women's football. So that is what Coach Donalds is saying that Dennis Chung said some time ago. That women's football will never catch on in Jamaica and people will never support women's football. You understand? He said that he said to Mr. Chung that he's wrong. And he said from that particular time, he realized that the relationship has been topsy-turvy since then. And this is what Donaldson revealed. And he, he went further to say that he said nobody cares about women's football in Jamaica. And it doesn't matter how bad the men's team is. The men will get more support than the women. That was when we were trying to go to Australia for the Cup of Nations tournament. And from that day, I knew we are always going to be fighting for these girls because it revealed to me that they really don't care about the girls. He was trying to justify why we shouldn't have gone to the tournament in Australia, all because they were spending a little money. Even though Australia was spending some money as well. And then he came up with these ridiculous flight prices. And I said, no, it is way less than that. And from February on, we was total against everything. He was total against everything that we were doing. And he said, despite sensing Chung's perceived dislike, Donaldson explained that it was his duty as head coach to remain resolute in his fight for the players, who sometimes felt disheartened by the show of support or lot thereof from the country's governing body in particular. We had to stand up for the girls and I stick to, it, to that. When they are right, we fought for them and when they are wrong, I told them. And then we had to make sure they had the resources that we have, that we can have them perform, Dan also said. It showed the day, the other day, when we didn't have the proper equipment for them to train. There was no equipment on the first day of camp, and stuff like that affected the girls because they didn't feel the love. They kept saying people don't didn't care. They just went to a World Cup and see all around the world how everybody, meaning other countries, 
is speaking glowingly of their team and they come to Jamaica and can't even get the proper equipment. So, so, on a year we'll go on, people. He said that he was misquoted. Okay. So Mr. Chung said, you know, Mr. Chung said, because he, he was shy, he, people reach out to Mr. Chung, you know, people, seeing, he said that he does not want to comment on the decisions that were made during the meeting. He don't know where these comments are coming from. But from an ethical standpoint or point of view, I am just not going to comment on it. We issued a release and the release speaks for itself. But he admitted, you know, that the conversation in February did happen, but not exactly how it was stated by Donaldson. Uh, I never said that people don't care about women's football. I don't know where th that is coming from. What I have said is, in the past, is that no matter how well the women do, it seems like people tend to support the men more in terms of attendance at matches. And that is something that has been said internationally. So I was just echoing it because someone said it on a sports program I was listening to. It is an unfortunate comment um, that he made, but I didn't listen to it because the fact is that the JFF has spent a lot more money on the women's program than the men's program. And in terms of resor resourcing it, has given it equal footing, if not more. So more money spent on the girl than the, than the reggae boys. <laughs> we. So it is very unfortunate comment if that was said because when you talk about sponsorship, most of the sponsors have come in for the women's program. So that was very unfortunate, he argued. When asked about the possible timeline for Donald's replacement, given the significance of the upcoming fixtures, Chung said information should be forthcoming by Monday. So Monday, you'll know that Paul is the, oh, I mean, a new coach will be coming in. We are working to ensure that our team is in place. So I'm sure that by Monday, we have, we'll have that sorted out in terms of what we are doing so something is being worked on and the JFF will communicate that this thing messy virgin cranky three sides to his tour right now may I look on the fifth side <laughs> may I look on the fifth side to his tour because People who call in and give no feedback because this thing has changed. <laughs> a five side to a story right now. Five side. <laughs> People who call in, man, it's a call in night, you know. So now I get too much information. I don't call in. I make a reason, man. Yes, his contract is up, but usually a contract is drawn with expectation. Did he meet those expectations? The assistant should be in the interim for the next two matches. 
Come on, people, call in. See me drop the link there. Who want jump on, jump on? <laughs> Jamaica football, me I tell you. Never a dull moment. Mm. Never a dull moment. I don't know Chung to be a liar. All right. Even so. So, Toki, are you saying that you know the coach to be a liar? I'm just asking, you know, because you just say one side, you know? Even so, about which gender more is spent on, the girl has brought in more into the federation. Here we go now. There is no way the Federation has spent more money on the women's program than the men. No way. Whoever made that statement is lying. Mm -hmm. oy, oy. The reggae boys have not qualified for anything. Therefore, there is no need to spend money on them. The girls, on the other hand, needed to be prepared and transported to tournaments. Which tournament? You need them say Australia play half Langsley and 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 the World Cup. Who, who, who pay all of the transportation and them things there for the World Cup? You think it is 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 the Federation or FIFA? We do not need the assistant. If a head coach isn't in place yet, who is going to select the women's team for the Gold Cup? Hmm. I saw Bobsy around the team. Just gonna I'll bring him back in term. Unfortunately, Chung has made several inconsistent statements across teams. Mm. Boy, my distant my distrust of JFF won't ever change. But I'm wondering if I should trust the other parties as well. Hey, J Ross, you hear me say it it dirty. It messy, Virgin. It messy. I mean, I'm talking Lionel. Is it me? It messy. Dutty. Moko moko. Mm. Did they refuse to renew his contract based on, on prejudice? Davia, he said that the reason why his contract wasn't renewed is because of him didn't qualify for the Olympic because he said if they if 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 they had qualified, then that simple mean he would have still remained the coach. You feel me? Is the team going to be selected and handed to the new coach? <laughs> Hold on there. All right. I know one of them phone caller people. Me think say I one of them phone caller with info, but I know one of them. <laughs> Yeah, man, it no look good, man. Um, welcome to the show. Yeah, night, night, got for all gone. We did, I know. I try to make you people them know you are gone. I know where I'm going. People, 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 all right, so firstly, I'm not surprised at the way in which the whole thing unfolded because for a good while now, you could tell that the relationship between the JFF, our members of the JFF and Lauren, he said is, Mr. has been untenable. He, sp he specifically said that, yeah. Mr. Mr. Chung. 
Well, um, I would, I would, I would others, support that there are other called, persons there. Yeah, man, there are other persons, but he specifically yeah. called his name. Yeah. So, well, I mean, yeah, I think he probably would. Yeah, I'm not saying name, but I'm just say there are other persons there who who were not too keen on him. But what I want to find out was um the former head coach who had the issue with where he was removed by the JFF. And we later found out that he was a part of the coaching staff um, in some capacity around the team. Is he still a, a part of the coaching staff up, up to the last um, the last um, tournament here that we just played? Of course he was around the team. Yeah, has been around. No, man, I mean the last couple of games. The last I mean, couple of games. Cannot, yeah, man, people said them see man. Okay, so well, I guess, I guess maybe you you may have your answer there in terms of who is the person that they'll be looking to bring back as the head coach, because he was the original head coach even before being played, you know. Yeah, and then the, he had an issue, and then Bin came in and stuff. So, I mean, he may he may very well be the, the person that they're looking to bring back into the fold now. Um, yeah, that, I didn't hear of him having any issues before. Yeah, other names are called you know, I don't know. Well, we'll go on still. If we might get the top job, but we hear some. Um, um and, uh, but also, what, okay, so the, the, they are not renewing Vin, uh, not Vin, Lawrence contract. So what about the other members of the staff? Apparently, they are, are, are just because the head coach. We understand that the one of the assistants in Xavier Gilbert will be taking control of the team until a head coach. Is name. I guess. Oh, so if it is that, I know. So if it is that, if it is that line, if it is that is a footballing reason why Lance contract wasn't renewed and he was a head coach, wouldn't all the staff be culpable for what is happening? For 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 the lack of performance. Yeah, I would think so. But but based on how they. So why the rules are you know that? Why? Uh, what me realize, like one, no, no, um, man of steel. The problem is that I think and see where they are setting the president precedence of having a local person in and around the team. Seeing, if you notice, um, on the men's side, you have who? Meron. Yeah, man, Meron, Meron is right. Yeah. On the female side, we had. Xavier. See? So I'm 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 thinking that they are trying as best as possible to keep a local person. Just in case things like this happen, the person is there, know the team, know the ins and outs. So even if they bring in somebody, that person will still remain there. Okay. So they can Fair enough. They, they, yeah. I, so. I don't necessarily agree with yeah, I don't necessarily agree with that point because Two things. One, on both the male and the female side, a large majority of our players are overseas-based players. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily know that. I mean, maybe in the past when they used to have local players being um, abundantly involved in the male team, but now we have a vast majority of our players being overseas. So I don't know if we need a local coach to... to um, to be involved. I but guess I guess the I, note, see a point, I guess that part of it, you know, um Brian has to do with them keeping a tab or eye on to go for the male team. Especially for the, the male team where you have would have gone overseas to Europe and all other parts of the world. They probably are the ones yeah, so in look, charge. So Yes, so if you have local players who have left and gone overseas, then they will fall into the pool of overseas based players. So having a local coach won't benefit them because him, him now can go watch them. I don't like him to play for the Premier League team and him come on a Sunday to watch them. Yeah. Then they're overseas. Yeah, but see, like how we watch it from different um, um, spaces. But you can't go overseas coach with that too. We don't need a local person to watch Jamaican players where they develop in our league and go for him. You know, you know, so you know, so you know what I'm saying? 
Brian. English coach to come here, no player England. Hold on, Brian. Let me say that is my point of view. Why I say it? Oh, well. It's because right. of, of Miran was able to. The coach said that Miran was the one who told him about Cephas. So I wonder if that are the that one is the purpose. Poor. That first thing. But if the coach said that. The coach said that that is poor and the coach is fast because, to the best of my knowledge, I'm, I remember hearing that this coaching staff have a database with about 300 players. So it's you know, see how, yeah, but Mr. Cephas has been one of the best performing Jamaican players in Europe for the last season and a half. So, so how will so make that all, all So I'm going to the database now. So, so coach, you're, you're telling me that? If we never have a local coach as a part of the coaching staff, then we wouldn't know the coach and wouldn't know about reality. But you know, look so I believe that. Unless I fans them would have a coach. Big man, you know, believe that. Me have to believe in a coach. Big man, you know, 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 believe in a See, for the same authority, brother. One of the, one of the, one of the top ten leagues in that world, brother. Whatever you want to call it. Me fail to believe, sir. A Jamaican signed for one million euro, brother. From out of North Macedonia, go over Turkey, and the head coach for the senior team in the world of the player there. We don't believe that, brother. Big man, we don't believe that. And. I've been to can't tell me nothing to convince him. I don't believe that. Yo, remember tell us sneak people sneak over there, you know, brother. I don't I don't sneak over there, you know, brother. One million you already man sell for brother. Him talking about sneak. Well, I don't believe that. Yes, what I'm saying about him. A mirror and tell him. Big man in can't convince me that. But you know, see man no play after brother. You know, see man get a look around and in in man no play again. I said, I don't believe that, brother. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Oi! I said, in quote six, um, when you to play for New York, New York, um, City of Senior, right back, what's your name? Tava, Tava and Gray, yeah. Him, see first name I mentioned more of a football circle than Tava and Gray, brother. And him, I remember telling him, I remember going to call Tava and Gray. I am picking me up, brother. Big man, I believe that, brother. I believe that. But, further to the next point, still, brother. They are more deep. We are still in there, but we now we'll get involved in that because I want the deep as we yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, I don't like how I'm going to deal with the But as we said, it's a, a relationship with him and them become untenable. And we know this, brother. What the moment you start go in a public, Mm. On public platforms or whatever, yeah. or discuss your boss better, you just know say the time with them are end better. Whether you're right or whether you're wrong. Because Jamaicans always say your ego work off a brother. So I wonder why I'm losing ego regime. So mm. the moment you start talking about a man in a certain way, a man will get him pound of flesh. I don't agree with them though, but I never surprised by it. Is it me? But yo, Jaffa, Jaffa, best up in the jump off and so. All right, big up yourself. Hello, how go on? Coach, what's up, man? How you doing? Good day, here, man. Yeah, big up to you and uh long you know, time I'm not seeing another in other in other in other um stadium. Man. How go on? Yeah, work, 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 man. Work, work and work. trying to you know get things organized to support the boys and girls. Mm, yeah, I'm at all fuck, you know. We have to we have to we have to give to the... what up. Coach, you hear me? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. We are getting a pl- round of applause, man, because we yes, uh, you and the, the reggae boys, um, supporters club, ensure say whole for nice and rhythm. Yeah, man. And take place now the national stadium, you know. So big up, good job on that. I Thank think you. it bring it really bring a vibe to the to the whole atmosphere of the game. Yeah, I will love it. We love it. Trust me. Thank you. I'm I'm trying to keep it going. You know, I'm I'm supposed to do something on management program Sunday. So mm-hmm. you know, I, I hope people tune in. And and the band guy is from your um era too. You know, he's from Spanish town. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you know, 
Um, he's he's supposed to come on the program also. You know, but anyway, let's let's talk about this coaching thing right here. Yeah. I mean, my opinion is the GFF shot themselves in the foot. You know, I mean, the way how everything went down was totally unprofessional. You know, how are you going to have a meeting with such a esteemed man and basically only one board member turns up, which is Dennis Chung, which is secretary, to basically tell the man that he's not going to renew his contract. You know, and then you know, the things that run through my mind is, number one, you know, what were the terms or, or what were the targets of his contract? Was it to qualify for the World Cup? I mean, if that's the target of his contract, then he exceeded his contract because they qualified and they went to the round of 16. If, if the terms of his contract was to qualify for the World Cup, go to the round of 16 and qualify the team to the um gold cup i mean sorry the the olympics then mm. mr chong has to come out and state that you know granted he has all right to basically not renew his contract fine but the public deserves an explanation as to why you choose not to renew the most successful jamaican coach his contract you know, saying that, oh, you know, your press release speaks for it all doesn't answer the question. You know, we need to know what were the targets of his contract. You know, did he meet it? Did he fail? And, you know, why did you choose not to renew his contract? And do you have somebody of his caliber lined up who can meet those targets? You know, those are my questions. That's the thing, you know, we never know what um okay what was in the, um that contract, you know. Well what well, is a good question that the media need to ask Mr. Chong, they need to ask Mr. Donaldson to find out exactly what were his targets. And you know? I remember I remember I know remember I know um Kyle. Mm. Remember I know, I know really JFF did one okay that too so you have to take that part into and, consideration and, and, you know. and, and, Tre you know, hold on there trevis me not see no call that come through from you man and and you you about you you about you dead man check, check your phone mm, go ahead Scott. yeah yeah coach and that lead me to ask if Sidella played such a strong hand in getting mr donaldson What's her take on the issue of his contract not being renewed? That's a question that the media need to ask her also, you know, because she played a big part in getting him there. You know what I mean? So to, to me, everybody need to answer because I don't like how it went down. I mean, the GFF are all right to do what they do, but these are the repercussions of shooting yourself in the foot. It's a mm. PR disaster for the GFF. I don't believe that they felt that it would have been so bad. You know what I mean? Because so you don't th you don't think it's a disaster for 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 Lon Donaldson too, or he didn't? He just didn't care. Listen, I I believe he cared. Like, we have to look on both sides of the thing, do you know? Coach, I believe he cared. He went to a meeting. If he didn't care, he would have brushed them off and jumped on his flight and went home. He went to a meeting, so that tells me that there was room for him to basically see, okay, let me see what can be worked out. You know, and me personally, you know, judging by what he accomplished, whatever transpired in the past is water under the bridge. No, because they're not going to see it as that. I, 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 I understand them, but I'm just they're telling not. you, you know, <laughs> from not. a professional point hey. of view, <laughs> yeah, but but Kyle, when mm. when people put professionalism to the side, you know, and and, and and personalities and feelings and all of these things come in, you know, mm. I I put it to you that you know I get well, um situation solved <laughs> amicably, you know. Well, it 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 takes a bigger person to see the bigger picture, and apparently the GFF blew this one wide open. Because there is backlash. There is backlash that's coming, and I don't think they expected it. Because basically, coach, what happened is this. 
Lauren Donaldson and the Reggae Girls is a winning product. The JFF had sponsors jumping on board based on that product. Okay? Now you mm-hmm. tell me these, these these girls just qualified and bringing so much money for to the JFF. And you basically going to No, show the man Mr. Chung said them spend more money upon the girls than any other any other team. All right, fine. So them spend money, but money was coming in. Because when you have a winning product, money is coming in. I mean, you have to spend to make money, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, then. So you tell me now, God forbid that you get a coach that's not that's not as successful as, as Mr. Donaldson. Your product sales going to go down because people not going to buy a um, a losing product. Pe- people like winners, you know. So I'm, I'm, I mean, I mean, it's man, it's it's shambles. It is shambles, basically, because I'm, they basically have to rebuild that product again. You know, brand it again with a new coach, a new name. You know what I mean? A new team, a new style of playing. And plus, you know, plus, plus, word on the street is that the girls might not exactly, roll out. Exactly. That too. How will the girls take to this new coach? You know, the girls might kick up and go on with things too. You know, I mean, why shoot yourself in the foot when you have a winning product to start out on something that you're not sure that is going to be as successful? That makes sense to you? My, how the saying go again, coach? Um, you can't. We go. Um, you go again. Now you should have tell me. Oh, no, no, no. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't give a sure for unsure. Simple okay. as like that, right? Mm. I mean, that is it right there. Swallow your pride, JFF. Work with the man. All the man I do is bring in the money. Shut your mouth. It's business. You know, it's crazy. But hey, I mean, we'll see. And we'll wish the girls the best. And we will do our part and try and support them. So, right. so, so the, the big comment coming coming uh, um from Cranky. Um, Cranky. hold on, before me read that, um, me out and stunt in, in a Saturday night, bro. Oh, Travis drunk people. Travis drink one beer and junk. So I'm saying I'm stunted right now. Anyways, Cranky said the JFF took back control of the women's football program from Lauren, Marley, and the girls. Do you believe that? Or agree with that from Granky? Ah, well, they took it back. They took it back, of course. Back to where? (laughs) 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 You know what I'm saying? They took it back. There's no doubt about that. But back to where? You know? Back to where? Yeah, that my my whole thing now is just to see how it's going to play out. And the two cards that's left to play is how the girls are going to react and how Sidella is going to react. But will that change? Will that change how the how the JFF um operate? Because as Cranky is saying, I take them take back the 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 the, the, the reins from from the girls and Sidella and everybody, you know. I mean, it's a shot in the leg. So basically. Nothing has changed with how the JFF up, um, operates. I mean, this is a step backwards. It's a step backwards. I mean, they give up sure for unsure. I mean, nothing is guaranteed going forward. You know, they, they don't have a brand like Mr. Donaldson name to sell to um, sponsors. You know, they don't, they don't have a brand of a potential. You know, come on. I mean, the whole brand is basically screwed up, man. All right, somebody just has said it, the, the jersey price dropped from 70 to 59. Me not see that. I don't know. I don't know, but it it it's it's a marketing disaster. It's a PR disaster. It's just, you know, it just don't make sense. You know? But hey. The jacket still has sell for $110. Uh, no, I mean, the, the, you know, our brand internationally will always sell, you know. The female um jacket herself is still $110. Right. Our, our brand is an international brand. I mean, this will not really, really affect our brand as we know it. But, you know, when you talk about crowd support coming out into the stadium, sponsors in... The, pri- the price drop for two, you know. 
but it, it dropped from ninety dollar to seventy two dollar. Wow. Yeah, so you know and the and the and the black one still are sell for ninety dollar though. The yellow one drop. Mm. The jacket still a hundred and ten. Yeah, so we will have to wait and see to see how it how it pans out. But you know, Mr. Chong needs to answer, Mr. Ricketts needs to answer, the whole board needs needs to answer. You know, what kind of meeting did they have with the man to basically terminate him? I mean, not renew his contract. You know, one man just turn up and say that your contract is not renewed. No. You know, come on. And 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 if that's the case, what does that say about the GFF? It's basically a coward move. This was all pre-planned. Because it must have been signed off by the executive board if one man is going to go into a meeting and say, listen, we're not going to renew your contract. Come on. That's not the way how you do business. You sit down like men, you have a meeting, you discuss it, and, and then you take action. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm disappointed. I'm really oh. disappointed. Mm. And I think how it is done, how it was done is, is one of the biggest things, as I said. Um, no other executive. And London also, also cited that Anytime they have meeting, the, the, the president is not there. Wow. So that's an indictment again against the GFF. Basically, all your dirty laundry is out in the public. This is how they do business. I don't know. Anyway, coach, so, you know, big up. Yeah, man, big up yourself. And continue the way I do with it, with, with, with the drummers, the man, you know? <laughs> I may I try, believe me, I may I try. All right, cool. Later. All right, big up yourself. All right, so people, this is the man that is responsible for the Reggae Boy Supporters Club. If I can jump over there and support the thing, all of the platforms are a part of it. You know what I mean? Um, is that Planet A4? Or you for the one. Stop on a doom on globe. Football was here before Lauren. And JFF and will be the here after. Yeah, man, we know that. Um short term JFF will stick up technically director. Determine the coach's selection in lifespan. Cranky, big up yourself. Welcome. Bless up, coach. Yeah, man, big up yourself, man. Oh, go on. I'm just listening to your program and listening to Kyle and others talking yeah. about marketing disaster and all these things that if they matter to the JFF. Mm. <laughs> 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 the JFF focus on revenge and kind of focus on strategy. <laughs> <laughs> That is a good one, Cranky. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. My dad was my dad marketing disaster and girls and future and JFF say no. You know, I'm going to get rid of the man here. I'm going to come this way. Eh? I'm not care what happened. I'm not care about no money. I'm not care about no marketing. So I'm Any get rid means of necessary. Any means necessary. <laughs> and in go both him and lose both to Canada. I don't care can I can be the number one team in the world and beat everybody. I don't care. <clears throat> I use that because flimsy excuse. Probably didn't need no excuse, but you know what? I just use one. You I'm just saying, you know what? You never beat Canada, so I have to get rid of you. But... That's why I'm saying, uh, Cranky, um, initially, you know, there are other things that compound the thing, you know, but they couldn't find a way to kick them two feet, them off, I girl, you know? <coughs> but, yeah, because you think about but, it. You know, my, Yes. Yeah, so it no matter what, but right now, the Canada in the Canada could have been in number, as you say, <laughs> the World Cup champion, the Olympic champion, the world champion. You have to beat them, and because you don't beat them, you got to go. Yeah, so that, that so, was it for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, look, I think Lon was part of his own downfall. I, I, I think for you to make an assessment. Of what transpired in the situation, you need to hear both sides of the story. That's why I said there are three sides, right? Because 
Mm-hmm. Everybody always make themselves look good in any situation. We all do that. If I have mm-hmm. a conflict with you, I'm going to give my side of the story. I'm going to portray yeah. myself in the best light possible. Even though I may not be telling something that's not untrue, you know. I may be telling you the truth, but I'm going to tell you exactly how things transpired in the manner where an objective person can make an informed decision that, you know what, this is how it actually happens. I'm going to give you from my side how it transpired, how I perceive it. And I'm not being objective or independent in my perspective on what transpired. So we'd have to hear Dennis's view, Lauren's view, and then we can all draw our own conclusion. But we all can draw a conclusion based on what we know transpired previously, which is, as I mentioned last night, the lady on the board who got dissed, the conflict between what transpired in the journey to the World Cup and subsequently, and the perspective by the girls that they weren't supported, monetary otherwise, and they had to go use GoFundMe to do X, Y, Z. And you can imagine how the JFO was stupid about People here complaining about, well, the girls may not want to play and Bunny may not want to play. The JFO said, you know what? We go out Kingston, downtown, and find about 12 girls and one if we're not here. Mm-hmm. You know, no one play? <laughs> Somebody will play. So, what do you get? It's going to be the same conflict you see with like France and their coach and Spain and their coach. It's the same thing you see happening across the women landscape in football. And at the end of the day, Jamaica is just one example of where this is happening, except it'll be probably worse for us in some respects because. It's been a continual conflict. It cannot mm. be disputed that the JFF has not really supported women's football at the level that they need to, including the government, no, by but the way. Mr. Chung said, Mr. Chung said they, 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 they get more support than the boys. No, coach, financial support in a certain defined period doesn't mean you support me holistically over a period of time, right? Mm. You may give me, and, and here's the thing, and Dennis likes to say these things, and Dennis sometimes have to be checked. So Dennis come up with his half information versus his total information. Don't say I spend more money on you than anyone else. That's not the criteria you used to judge this. Mm -hmm. What was your net spend or your net profit given what it took for me to achieve or compete in a given tournament? So for example, what was your net spend for the girl for the entirety of the competition starting with the qualification process? And how much money did you make during that process? And compare that to the men's team, and I can bet that the women probably did better than the men financially. So yes, you may spend more in total. If you spend a hundred thousand dollars, man, and I make two hundred thousand for you, you mean a hundred thousand dollars off me. If you spend fifty thousand dollars for the men, and they made seventy thousand, they lose, or they only made forty, then they lose ten, or they made twenty. So give the total picture. Don't give half of the picture. Mm-hmm. So until you come up with a ten entire financial statement about. How much was spent in totality and how much they made because we know the they made quite a bit of money from the world cup where the, the women competed the girls competed so what was your net spend or your net profit don't give me that it, we spend more and over what period are you talking about also was it the top from one for what what year 21 22 23 versus the men do a better job of providing empirical data to substantiate what you're espousing but that's not reality when you give me half-hearted information. So Dennis like to do those things, but frankly, he needs to give him a, a better picture. And then also, Dennis is not really a football person. You know? Dennis may seem like you want to talk. Dennis is not really a football person. We can tell that. Mm. Um, so, yeah, it's, look, I've always said, I think Lauren fired himself, though. Yeah, that's why I may have it in the title, you know, did, did Lauren really cause it on himself? Yeah, Whenever you, hey, hey coach, if you are your boss, get it along, you know, coach. Ninety nine percent of the time you're losing. You know? Of course. Think about in any environment, in any situation. If it's you can't get along with your boss, you have to find another job. It's a no brainer. Yeah. And the girls won. And I said last night, the girls won the battle, but the JF win the war. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because nobody in life is irreplaceable. You may not find competent talent, but you're still replaceable. Mm-hmm. So you may go out and find 23 girls who can't compete with these girls, may get beat 9 and 10, love, but you still replace the ones who were before you. Yeah, yeah. So the girls have to realize that, is it more beneficial to me to stay away than to play? That's the question for them, individually and collectively. 
But the JFF is going to have the upper hand because they are the administration, they are the administrators, and they're the ones who run the program. Regardless of their competence, and we've talked about their competence quite a bit over the last number of years, we know that they don't have people in the seat in a lot of different capacities to do the job that's required to move the program along. We know this. We have seen it. We have heard it. We have experienced it. And I'm not sure that's going to change anytime soon because even the, the, the um, elections come up in November won't change much. We see other people who want to run for office and they've been in the program longer than the people who have been in the seat. And mm -hmm. they haven't done anything in their parishes, but they want to come now, say they want to be president. Like It's like a joke. Yeah. It's like... Yeah, it work. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's like it's, a joke, though. But what Coach mm. Devon is saying that um, he did not cause it. When you look upon it, you know, <laughs> all right. Direct, indirectly, I him cause it upon himself. You know why? I'm going to listen to me carefully. He has been talking a lot of things in the media. And these are things that probably were documented by, by JFF. And they probably do not like it. See? Now, as we stated earlier, Coach Devon, is that what happened is that his role in this is because he actually did not beat Canada to qualify. If he had qualified, he would still be the coach of the team right now. Because they, if, 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 if that, if that wasn't the case, they would not have used that as the premise on which he, he lost the, uh, <coughs> the, 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 the non-renewal of the contract. So it has to be. So so if if, if he had wanted to, to, to stay on him, probably would have to get in the head of the girls and say, listen, we have to go beat this Canada team. Man. Comes up, me, you know, we have to beat the Canada team. Man, if we know how to stay on him. You know. And it just did not happen. So him no say once that happened. Sweet, sweet goodbye. And there's no other way about it, um, Coach Devon. You see, sometimes me look on things from a different angle, too, you know, because we tend to always stay upon the same wavelength. But you have to really flip this um the coin. Did he cause it on himself? We could argue that he did because he did not win the game. And that is, they can use that as the reason, which is footballing reason, why he, 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 the contract wasn't renewed. You understand? So, um, big up to Michael for that super chat. And then we have, um, who is this? I'll cover 89. Decision not to renew the contract was unanimous. Hence, the delay in meeting and the president not joining. He's not in support of a change of coach. What? Dalio's thing is not getting a cranky. Yeah, look, I mean, I'm sure they have criteria by which these changes are made and what percentage of the vote gets approved and then ultimately the decision. I hear Carl saying Law didn't fire himself. I think Carl, I'm not sure what Carl is talking about. Carl Failed to be tracking the program as well as he should appear. What's the name of that lady who's on the board for JFF that got thrown off the bus? Elaine Walker. <laughs> Elaine Walker, bro. That does so now you still. <laughs> no, but so Elaine Walker, bro. Well, because she got thrown off the bus. I mean, she said it on national TV. I watched the program. Mm -hmm. I watched the program. I think it was was it CVM or TBJ, one of those, but she was one of those programs. And she basically explained what transpired. And that she wasn't even representing the board for JFF. She was representing the government and she was thrown off the bus and how disrespectful it was. And as most say in Jamaican word, Kiang Oso. And when somebody say Kiang Oso, they have to, and somebody has to feel the penalty for the supposed disrespect that occurred. That was the first thing. And Lauren was the one who told her she came behind the bus. And she felt disrespected. She felt humiliated. And from, and from where she sit, if the board didn't support her, that means the board is also disrespecting her and not supporting their authority and supporting the subordinates, and that is not acceptable. <clears throat> Second, that drives this situation where I said Lawn fired himself. 
throughout the course of the entire campaign when he took over and the end of the World Cup, there are a number of instances where he come out and expl explain and express displeasure of what was happening. Right there, wrongly, you put it in the public domain, you embarrass the JFF, you're saying, in my words, they're not competent, and therefore they're saying, this coach and us are not aligned, he's putting our dirty laundry in public, and therefore we can't work with him. And that's normal in any work situation and relationship where if there are disputes and disagreement and people can get along, you have to part ways. So in essence, he fired himself. And for Law not to realize that, he had to continue winning. And even when he won, they probably would have thought about, you know, we need to fire him, but it's hard to do so right after the World right, Cup when we've done right. so well. Mm -hmm. We need any situation to use that as the rationale for disposing of his services. And him not beating Canada, which we know was not going to happen, frankly, because we weren't just at that level. It'd be a miracle for us to do so. And his miracles, his miracles ran out in Australia. His miracles ran out in the Columbia game um, and didn't occur in the Canada game. So I'm not sure why people are saying he didn't fire himself. If he was playing a good soldier, if he was trying to pacify the girls while supporting the JFF and say it out in the public that JFF is doing their best and they're trying, but, you know, we're a small country, things are difficult... We have to work with what we have. We have limited resources. Yeah, well, him could have said that. Frustrated him and trying to work with them. Also, JFF would be in his corner. If he hadn't put that lady off the bus and tell her, look, girls, you know, I know you want her off the bus, but she has to be here because he's representing Bob Zegrain and Ministry of Sports. And let's work through it and pacify them. Because he has that ability and he has that respect from the girls to do so. And he didn't do so. So people may want to stump... Uh, person, JF is incompetent, and this is nonsense, and the girl's going to boycott. We have seen how the JFF operate. They don't care. It's Crunch. about them. It's Crunch. about them. It's about them. It's not Crunch. about the country. not about nationalism. not about the program. It's about them. And they're in authority. They're going to beat their chest and they'll do what they want to do. Cranky. And the sooner people realize that, the better. Cranky. So don't get frustrated. Don't get annoyed. Don't believe that, you know, if you, if you, if the people in Jamaica want to change things, then in November, since the voting population has increased, then all late, get together and vote them out. But the problem you have is you don't have any adequate replacement. So you know, people who are going to be running for position are going to be worse than what you have today, if that's possible. So it's not a good situation, coach. Cranky, cranky. Mm. I think yeah, Kyle came back, cranky. coach. I think Kyle wanted to defend himself. Yeah, yeah I hear him. Myself, I'm asking you a question. <laughs> If if um Lauren didn't take the stand, not a good situation. You're not hearing him, Cranky. So Kyle, are you there? Yeah. You're Can you hear me, Cranky? I think it's buzzing, but nothing is happening. Uh, I, are you I hearing think me? Kyle is speaking. Maybe I'm mute. I don't know what's happening. Cranky, you hearing me? It's Cranky. Tell tell. So, Coach, what is your view? What's your view on all of this? Mute, mute button. Are you hearing me, Cranky? I can't hear. So something must be wrong with my my thing. Yeah, right? I hear. I, I hear a thing. I hear a thing, man. I may have to come on and come back in. I'm not sure what's happening. Yeah, man. Turn off your mute button, but coach, to um Cranky's point. I'm not hearing you, coach. So I'm not sure what's happening. Yeah, probably it's your system. Let me let me send him a private chat message. <laughs> check, check. Yeah, here we know Cranky. I send him a message. I hope he reads it. People in the chat, send send cranky a message to unmute his button. No. no, my man was on mute before Kyle, and it wasn't. I still wasn't hearing. Yeah, can, here we know. Can, can you guys hear me, Coach? Yeah, yeah no, I, hear I can't. You. I can't hear you. That's what the problem is. Oh, so jump off. So that's why off. I muted Kyle because I so I could click on another apparatus I have. Okay. To so listen in because I can't hear you guys. Jump off and jump. So I'm gonna drop on and come back in, coach. Yeah. I'm not sure what's happening. All, right. All right. All right. Yeah, coach. Yeah, my you, you were saying I, my question to Cranky would be this: if if he's saying that Lon fired himself, and Lon should have just played along and be a good soldier, be quiet and give the JFF compliments. My question to Cranky is this: if he had done that and failed 
Hold on, he might come back. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. I'm back, coach. I'm back. I'm kind of going to jump. jump. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, kind of hear you. Ah, you know, it's, it's a crank. Ahead, it, when, me, when me come on in a crank, you know, people get nervous and afraid, you know, and them, them automatically start going mute. <laughs> anyway, listen, crank it, my... <laughs> Hey, hey, I'm gonna be the JFF seed. Yeah. Right, I'm be the JFF. I'm be the JFF. You'll be Lord. I'll be the JFF. You'll be the Lord. All right. Thank you. I know. Listen now. My my question to you is this: If Lon fired himself, you know, which, I, which I agree, right? So, oh, um, you agree on a dispute? No, 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 no. Listen to the question. Listen to the question. If Lon fired himself, if he had played along, like you said with the jihad and be a good soldier be quiet give them compliments xyz and failed okay wouldn't that be also detrimental to his efforts to get the team to, to the world cup in other words his actions of speaking out in some way helped the girls to get to the world cup and to the round of 16. No, 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 no. Look, Lauren has a brilliant relationship with the girls, right? The girls fired, let's be clear. The girls fired Blaine for Lauren. Right. They look, knew Lauren from the previous work. They fired Blaine. So they know, Lauren know they support him. They, they know Lauren support them. So they work in tandem. They're all piece of the same part, right? So they all support each other. That's fine. But Lauren, Lauren also needs to know how to be a politician. <clears throat> Because anybody in those capacity have to be politician. You have to be in some way, shape, or form. The only question is, how much a degree of politician do you want to be in that situation? Yeah, but yeah, but listen, we know that speaking out is normally the last resort of a employee. You know, when they're basically under, you know, um, what you call it, work environment stress. Where's right. it? Where's where's if you do have a union protecting it? Right. Okay. <laughs> so basically, I am saying to you that basically speaking out was basically Lauren's last choice of saying, "Listen, I need things put in place so we can basically accomplish this goal of getting to the World Cup." Right. And if he hadn't done that, the whole program would have probably failed from qualifying to the World Cup. So basically, he was in a cast twenty-two. He'll be damn if he do, damn if he don't. So, you know, yes, he fired himself, but he basically knew the consequences of what this could have cost him. And in the end, the JFF took the flimsiest of reasons to basically not renew his contract. Because up to now, no, we don't... But, know the... No, hold on, hold on, hold on. You, on. I wouldn't call that the flimsiest of reasons. What? You not, know why? Not beating football Canada? Is, of course, football is a result-oriented um, 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 job. But coach, you forget what I asked you when I come on the program the first time. You know? mm. What were the goals of his contract? Was it I don't a... know. I you no, can't ask right. me that. No, boss, I'm just making the point. Yeah, you know, but we still have to answer. Okay, so so I'm saying we need to know the goals of Lawrence's contract before we can basically come down and, and judgment on anybody. We don't know. But to me, I believe the goals of his contract was to get the girls to the World Cup. And I believe he exceeded it by taking them to the round of 16. Qualifying for the Olympics, to me, was basically a flimsy, ex you know, um, it, it's, it's a target, but it wasn't the target. And they used that to basically say, listen, we're not No, but it. Kyle, Kyle, if it is a target, but not one of the target, but if it is still yeah. under one of the target, right. they still can use it. Uh, listen, I have and that's no, the point I'm I, making. I, I, I agree with you. I'm just setting out the parameters as to what I believe could have been the objectives as to, you know, where Lorne met his um, criteria to retain his contract. You know, I don't know. Like I said, I'm just speculating. I'm just putting out everything out there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Mr. Blake, welcome to the show. Good night. Good, 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 good night. I... I have been watching the chat and even some of the response to what I post. Well, uh, you can't turn on your mic a little bit, please. 
the, the mic is turned down very low. Whoa. It's not turned up. Oh, may, probably me need to turn on my head. So. No, 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 no. Whisper, 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 whisper. No, I want, I want to whisper, man. Want, no, there's only one whisper. I and, and I am not that one. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Mr. Donaldson's contract, Mr. Donaldson's contract apparently expired. You know, in expired. And it was not, and it was not renewed. It the reason the day is not finished. Well, <laughs> the day is not finished because you you are a heathen and I am a Hebrew. The day is finished at sunset for me. But you are a Roman, I understand. <laughs> I'm a black man. Yeah, you are that, that, that did not speak to your the color of your skin. But I am speaking to your I am speaking I am Yes. I I I am speaking I am speaking to the position that you have taken you you have taken and chosen to live your life in. I am still Hebrew, so I operate oh, you know, in the oh, creationist you know, view. Oh, you know which one I Because of what you just said, you said it day is not finished, meaning that you are you meaning that you are operating in view of the Roman calendar where the day ends at midnight. That's exactly what you said. So, so hold on. Today is what? Uh, at this time, it is Sunday. The sun has set. Today is Sunday. No, what's the date? What is today's date? Uh, it would be the 1st of October. If you were a Hebrew, but you are a Roman. No, if. no, 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 no. I have to reason with you where you are, coach. Coach, no. you are of a different coach. I am a biblicist. I am a biblicist, and you are a Roman. Go ahead. From your seat, understand it. You don't know if I'm a biblicist as, as well enough. Don't push you it. could not be a biblicist and taking that Roman view. No, don't push it. That Roman position. So you would be, you would be a false teacher. No, so because a biblicist must teach what's in the Bible. So, must so, teach so, so, a biblicist. Let me give you a let me give a piece of scripture. So oh, Paul said, "He be everything to every man, so that he could what." Unim Paul, Unim Paul. If he's in Rome, he's a Roman. Anyways, go back to your football. Can you know yes, you start laugh? Can you know say a big stone that me fling over this side now? No, because you start. Paul on a JFF coach. Don't play with me. In anyway, course, go ahead. They fired the Paul that was a part of the JSS. You don't remember? <laughs> His surname is Hall. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> and, and, and Cranky can Cranky can bear me out on this one since he operates within managerial structures. The the contract for Mr. Donaldson had a timeline attached to it. No. Because the JFF knows that for any decision taken against Mr. Donaldson during his tenure, it would come with serious scrutiny and holy of backlash. They just timed out Mr. Donaldson. For those people who have a problem with me saying that Mr. Donaldson was fired and I disagree with Cranky on the statement that he said that um, Lauren pretty much was greatly responsible for this. This is this is what you call tit for tat. The girls fired Vin Blaine, who the JFF had hired. So the JFF fired Lauren Donaldson, who the girls had hired. And the contractual time period is what they use to get rid of because firing is actually terminating one's position in a company correct cranky yeah that's correct good so the contract was given to him and being as i'm not privileged to the details of the contract i won't speak to that other than the fact that his contract allowed him to take the girls to and compete in the world cup that was his contract period so no matter what his achievement is 
the JFF still had the right to renew or not to renew the contract, thereby being in the position to terminate him. From so they had the right. Yes, by virtue of being the proprietors of the company that they are running. Mm -hmm. So that is that is how I disagree with Cranky saying Lauren played a major part in his of course dismissal. Of course no, 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 no. Understand, understand what I'm saying, Coach. I, 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 I pretty much understand what how Cranky came to his view, but I disagreed on the premise that I just stated. So I'm not going to debate on whether or not you are right or I am wrong. I'm just saying I understand how he, he came to that view, but I disagreed with it based on the viewpoint from which I am taking it. Okay. And I'm not going to debate that. We have other things to discuss as it relates to this. Hey, make, make, the, let me have a turn on my mic. Uh, one, 10 decibels, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, anyway, my headset coming in. turn on my one more in mute. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, the JFF <laughs> has to, at one point or another, get to where they are in control of all the football programs in Jamaica. I totally disagree with how they're going about the female program. And the fact that they have no track record with the male program to suggest that they can manage it any better than they do the male program justifies my, my stance more than anything else. They want to take control of the female program primarily by getting rid of Sidella and the kind of hold or clout that the girls, the players have within that construct. For somebody who don't have any track record, I can categorically state that is wrong on the part of the JFF. One, there is no one that the JFF has hired by themselves that can command any sponsorship response. Not one. And so the JFF, it would be prudent on their side, if they chose the better, more productive route to work along with somebody who have international credibility, credence, and clout. It doesn't have to be Sidela Mali because Sidela Mali will not live forever. But the JFF, by virtue of what we have experienced, has shown themselves, and I don't want to use the word incompetent, but they are inept. They are borderline retarded. They, the, 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 the actions that they have taken, including their handling of the non-renewal of the man's contract, and the excuse that I hear floated that is given. Come on, JFF. It is not right if you are everybody is friend. But it is wrong if you are everybody an enemy. Not even the devil have everybody against him. The devil have company. The JFF is operating below the devil level. Everything that is good, you shut it down. Everything that is bad, you try to sell to the people to promote it. But let me ask you a question, Pastor. So, Coach, can I, can I jump for one second, Coach? No, well, Pastor, well, let me Pastor. ask you that question. Let me go, ask go, ahead, question go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Um, because you said that the JFF tries to shut down everything that is good. And uh, you know, like they're always accepting the the bad. Um, just asking, would you want one of your congregant who who is not just a lay member, but one of your ministers, to be talking about you in the media, and at the same time, even though we know the church operate different from 
an organization. But just as an example, would you want that said person to still be a part of your leadership? And I'm going to answer you according to the book. Hold on, before you the answer good... me, before you, before you answer me, where are you calling from? Europe? New Brunswick, New Jersey, USA. Oh. So that's why you talk so loud. Because you want the sound to reach Jamaica. Anyway, that was just a little you minor. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have to speak louder when you're when you're competing with the waters. Yes. <laughs> Actually, that's that was one of that was one of the tools I used to train my voice to be as projected as it is. Water. Oh, good, good. Uh, anyway, to respond to you, sir, in Matthew chapter 18, there is a clearly outlined blueprint as to how you handle discrepancies one with another. No, I have not heard any statement that Mr. Donaldson made against the JFF that they are false in any way, shape, or form. So, if the member in my congregation, and since you don't want it to be a regular member, let me state an ordained elder, mm -hmm. which is the highest ranking officer uh, that works with the pastor within a local church, the, 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 the lead elder or the head elder, if that elder has any reason to be in disagreement with me, the pastor, and he follows the Matthew 18 blueprint, and I am unwilling to one-on-one -on -one come to good sense, the elder is within his right to take it to another brother or sister to face me with the same thing. When that does not work, that elder, according to the Matthew 18 principle, is within his right to request that it be taken to the board, which is a larger grouping. And when that does not work, you are supposed to go to the full congregation with it. So Mr. Donaldson was not wrong to put it into the media space so that the world can hear his distress because the JFF has failed in its duties to deal with in-house business in-house. There is no way a man under contract is supposed to be going without his contractual remunerations with no kind of communication as to when and how and why not. He has not gotten it. This is rubbish. And in any organization, Cranky just need to say amen when the pastor is preaching the truth. Cranky, you must testify. You, it, no, 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 pastor, pastor, pastor. I stopped going to church when I was 13. I can't say amen. Uh, no, 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 you must say amen, Cranky. The Bible said train a child. You used to go when you were a child. When you're old now, Cranky, you must remember the good teaching. Pastor, say amen. Pastor, <laughs> yeah, pastor, there are some people in life you don't want to have religious discussion with. Trust me. Uh, this is not... This you is not a religious this discussion. Me. This is a truth discussion. No, 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 no. But pastor, pastor, don't... pastor, pastor. Trust me, pastor. Pastor, let's stay with the football. Me, me, I beg you. Stay with the football. Stay with the football. Yeah. But, you must, but you must scrape your throat and say you agree. what I've said so far is true. That's what I'm saying. No, no. You I'm must concur. true because I am the one who said Lauren Donaldson fired himself. And and look, here's the thing. So you, you talk, utilize Matthew... And certain concepts from the Bible in terms of what you follow, which is sort of the standard you follow in, and things you follow in terms of how you should make decisions on a go forward basis. It's like the Constitution, which needs to be changed, by the way, in certain areas. But anyway, we won't, we won't get into that. Um, my point is this, which is if I can't work with you, then we can't coexist. We can't coalesce. I agree with, I agree with that. So we have to part company. <laughs> And, and, I, and I agree with and I agree with that in principle too. Cranky. Yeah, so if, if you're the subordinate, Cranky, and at every turn, in every turn I see, you are negative, especially in the public domain about me. And I'm the one who has the authority. I'm the one who has the ability to make the decision about whether or not you ex we coexist. I'm gonna terminate the relationship. And and Cranky, I agree with all of that. But I go beyond that. Okay. 
The terminating of the relationship doesn't solve the problem because you are the problem, Cranky. Yeah, but 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 I'm I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you. <laughs> so now you understand how I agree with how I how how I understand your position, but does not really leave it right there because no, no, I did pasta, say that. Pasta, pasta. But, but even though the problem, the problem you know, them still sit at a point where they can get rid of you, yes or no, you know. That is also important, you know. Even yes, but that is why I agree with that is why I agree with Cranky's. I understand Cranky's position. I am not going to debate his position to be to be not right, because I fully understand what he's saying. Any 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 operator or company owner, they possess that right. But as it relates to a company within a global space or a public space, you would need to take decisions that solve problems, not prolong or create new ones. So that is where I go beyond what Cranky said. I, I am not fighting his, his position. I fully understand what he said. Okay. Yeah, look, and, and by the way, those are the comments that um, I am something else. I have my own category that I function in. I'm going to stay there. I'm going to be like the JFF. Um, the, 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 the JFF. Pastor, you said something earlier, which I smile about. You say they want to use the word incompetent, but they're retarded. <laughs> I thought that was... I thought that was... <laughs> I thought retarded was like 10 times worse than incompetent. Um, I, di I didn't say I wanted to use a better word. I just didn't want to use that one because oh, that one is very common. Everybody use it on every show. That is true. That is true. So you want to use something which is more damaging, more belittling, more disparate. No, more something that carries the truth. It, no, something that carries the truth in a more fulsome way. Okay, okay. I don't think they're retarded, uh, by the way. I think... Cranky. Look, I, cranky? Think, I, think, I think Jeff is okay. selfish. The, the, the thing is, they're very selfish. And what do I mean by cranky. that? Meaning, if you're a nationalist, if you're a patriot, and you realize you don't have the ability to do something, to move the program forward, then you recuse yourself, you help identify some of the competence, and you try to put the person in position. Just like you're the Minister of Finance saying, I have to, <laughs> is this an excuse to, to triple the compensation for certain people in ministerial positions? It would then attract more, um, I'm going to use my own words, competent personnel, or a more acclaimed personnel, a person with more, with better acumen to run for those positions or try to be part of the ministry, right? They want the best talent out there to be part of the government. Similar construct here, which is the JFF should be thinking about how can we get the best person in the job to make sure at some point, at some point, we have a well-run program that can compete on a global stage. And right now, we are regressing because we don't have the requisite personnel in the seats who have the necessary know-how to run the organization and we're not making progress. We are regressing as, a, as an organization, as a Cranky, as a country, let me show you the definition for the word retarded in what you, in, in what you just said. How did Sidela Marley become a part of the football program in Jamaica? She didn't force herself on the JFF, then led by Captain Horace Borrell. The program was dead. Borrell realized he was stretched as far as he could go with the male program. Because if my memory served me right, at that time, he was financing or sponsoring nine of the 13 or 14 confeds in Jamaica, plus running the national program. So, Sidella Marley was allowed, or in, I don't even want to say invited, but was accepted to be the person that carried the flame for the female side of the program. Franklin defines insanity, which is a retardation, as someone doing the same thing the same way all the time expecting a different result the jff is retarded psychotic 
there is no way you get a working product and your first and only move is to get rid of the cogs that make that product work. To get rid of Sidella Mali must be when she begins to fail or when she dead. Unless you expect to bring the program back to before she was a part of it. Hey, Pastor, and stop look, you there. Pastor, stop you there. You're not Jamaican. You're not Jamaican. You're uh, not Jamaican. Because if you're okay. Jamaican, if you, no, no, if you're a Jamaican pastor, let me just say this, if you're Jamaican, you understand, say, we get now with feelings. Don't put that Jamaican, you know. We get now with feelings. Yeah, man, we get now with feelings. Come on. Nothing else matters. When we get no feelings and we get disrespect, you know, the word respect in a Jamaica is like gold and it's like platinum. When you disrespect a Jamaican, nothing else matters. No program, no success, no achievement, no progress. It Whoa. doesn't matter. Wow. Cranky. Cranky. That is not an excuse, Cranky. Cranky. It's a fact. Therein lies, Cranky, therein lies the problem of Jamaica running any kind of program that needs to stretch outside the borders of those 14 parishes because nowhere else in the world do you operate any corporation any business any entity with that way it is principles policies and protocols that run business not feelings and money um money I, 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 I don't agree with you. For example, the spanish women's football team then the woman boycott the team. Did they go with the best players to Australia? No, they didn't. The French football team. Then a lot of the Premier players boycott the team. And they want to play for the coach. They want to fire the coach just like Jamaica did. People get into their feelings in different environment. And you know what sometimes happened? Even in business, if we can't get agree, get, even when your biggest revenue generators, biggest revenue generators by some distance may leave a company. Okay, they can't get along with management. They can't have their way. They're going to move along. And in this case, Lauren Donaldson, who did a brilliant job for the reggae girls, did not support the JFF in any capacity. In any, frankly, he was high. Pastor, I'm, I'm, I'm very disappointed you, Pastor. The man was hired by the girls. How did JFF feel when they... When you, they, can't they pastor, pastor. you can't be you can't disappointed in him. I stated that. I stated no, that. No, 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 pastor, Pastor, Pastor. You're... you're, you're, you're I don't understand the church construct and how the hierarchy is, but pastor and the board didn't hire whoever in the church would be important to run some program. And their subordinates hired them, and pastor had no say in it. They over they, they went behind the pastor couldn't do anything about it. And it's pastor's church. And it's pastor's board, and somebody else forced them to hire the person, pastor, some subordinate. Really? What world um. are we living in? that this pastor don't own a church this pastor don't own a church but i your analogy works within a business construct it doesn't work inside a properly run the church but i understand what you're saying cranky i posted that not only in the chat but i said that since i'm on here the reality is the girls fired the coach that the jff hired the girls hired a coach, but the JFF from the beginning did not want this coach. So they just operated within the time capsule for which this hiring took place. And Pastor, by the way, before you go further, there was one JFF member who said it wasn't a consensus to hire the coach. Well, there were some members next, of the JFF who want to retain blame. Our next pastor so, joining. Next pastor is on the show. <laughs> so it's a pastor night tonight. Maybe I should take a step in the car. I say I'm going to church. I'm 13, and so I probably shouldn't be this in this community here. Do not run. If we, if we see any water and you're there near it, you're baptized. <laughs> Do not run. <laughs> <laughs> no, but think about it, guys. I mean, it's 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 illogical to think that they wouldn't fire him at the earliest. At any point in time where the opportunity it's arises, they will fire him. All know. right, Cranky, Cranky, yes. now you're saying exactly what I am saying without, without saying that 
he had a major role to play. He didn't have a chance. There's not whether he did good or bad. His tenure ended when that contract ended. You know? But here's the thing, Pastor. Here's the Pastor. You can somehow try to bring around an administration. You know, they may not support you initially, but your engagement with them, your performance on the field, how you talk about them, how you engage with them, that may have convinced some in the organization. You know, but his his it started. First of all, it started when the girls hired him. And that bus situation, I'm telling you, Pastor, where he, he told the lady to get off the bus, was her, whatever her name, I can't remember her name, Coach keep telling me, and I, and I keep, can't remember he called her name. Um, Elaine Walker, Lorraine, yeah. I think her name is. Elaine. He Just remember that she is brown. She is brown. Yes, brown. When he told Brown to get off the bus, that was not a good look. Well, he never told her to get off the bus. He told her that the girls did not want her on the bus. So wait, 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 wait. So they didn't want her on the bus, so should she have stayed on the bus? <laughs> no, if she stayed on the bus, then they would have had to no, if she stayed on the bus, yes, then they would have made other arrangements for the girls to be transported <laughs> because they're not traveling with her. So she could have stayed on the bus. No, 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 no. That's not what I got. Uh, cranky. She's yeah. an adult. Nobody physically removed her and not called the police to remove her. She made the decision. To allow the girls to travel on the bus without her. She could have stayed on the bus and the girls would have had to, she could have called their bluff. Right. Right. So she you, could you, have called their bluff. Yes, yeah, so a pastor. Right. Yes. Pastor, you know that. Yes. You know, you know, in Jamaica, respect is even more than money sometimes in a pastor. <laughs> respect. I, I will tell you this. I will tell you this. Without respect, there can be no love. Exactly. We, we're not getting to money yet. We're not getting to money yet. And the reality is, Miss or Miss, let me use MS and not MISS, Walker Brown. Is she married, coach? I don't want to. Mrs. Oh, it's Mrs. Okay. So, Mrs. Brown, Mrs. Brown mm -hmm. did not do anything to earn the respect of these players and i'm not going to use girls because they too are adults she did not do anything to earn the respect of these players and the fact that she wore the badge of a jff administrator that the girls have been disrespected by she needs to understand the same way how donaldson would need to earn the approval of the jff administration she needs to understand that without earning the respect of these girls, she can't lead them go nowhere. The reason they could have sent for Donaldson is because Donaldson had their respect. Make we hear from the next pastor. Pastor, welcome to the show. Yeah, man, Mindy, good night, good night, good night, Cranky. Uh, Kyle, and uh, who is that? Uh, this, this is the player person himself, um, player badness. This is the same person. No, no, this is this is a man that speaks very loud. Um, you call him Pastor Blake, he is uh, T -Gut's T -Gut's father. T -Gut's yeah, right? yeah, T oh, oh. yeah. Oh, very good. <laughs> the name of my two sons, Joshua and Joel. <laughs> I I have many, no, one, no, those are my two biological sons. I have many other children. <laughs> but um, I'm not sure if Tigat is one of them. But I will check the pasta, registry. Pasta, pasta, stop, this, this, pasta, stop. <laughs> stop, that's a pasta. Stop, that's a pasta. That's a man of God can tell about him company program of many children. Are they really yours biologically or you adopt them? All the children in the churches that I have pastored okay. are okay. mine. Okay. Every one of them. Clear that up. Yeah, man, clear that yes. up pastor. Clear it up. Clear it up. Good job. Yes. <laughs> The man is Tigas father. I don't tell me anything. Yeah. Right now, me have a turn on my headset. Go ahead, um, Pastor. Subscribe to all the persons in the comment section as well. No? But first, let me say, like, I mean, I've said this before that I think, um, in in life, whatever you do, you have to look back and say, how could we have done it better? So I don't believe, given the details that I have heard, I don't believe this was handled in in the best way. I think, given the just based on pure results and accomplishment, mm -hmm. that the coach should have been given at least an option because, um, and then let him put on the table what he would want 
if he was supposed to renew the contract and then you would have an option to say well based on your demands we we cannot meet those demands so we are not going to renew it the fact that nothing like that was done i think it it was not done in the best way because yes, but uh, uh, permit me to permit me to interject this but that would be on football reasons based on what you just said if that had happened it would have been football reasons yeah yeah so based on based on based on like i said the, the fact that we qualified for the world cup when we were there majority of persons felt like we would not have made it out of the zone they made it out of the zone and had a close uh defeat against colombia and had the opportunity to qualify for the olympics so based on results at least the, the, the opportunity to re-sign a contract should have been presented based on results based on relationship because remember leadership you have a result based leadership you have relational based leadership and sometimes both of them will also merge based on relationship you now i think uh some of the things that were done because let us remember that when mr donaldson first left the jff a lot of things were said in those times that when he was supposed to come back the second time that is why if you listen to his thing on tvj today he said that it was wilkes and the president who really wanted him because a lot of the other persons on the board that would hire people or recommend people did not want him based on what transpired with with uh Mindy's, right so you can based on the truth that he told um all right, so as a part, so you should know. the truth is supposed to be spoken, you know. So, 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 I agree with that, Coach. Uh, so, so, so what I will say, Coach Minzi, is that mm. I appreciate the scripture that the pastor used, that is, but that, that scripture is particularly focused on when they are issued in the fellowship of a church, mm. right? Um, because there's also scripture that says slaves must um, submit to their leaders. Mm -hmm. That Bible teaches that as well. And all our authority <laughs> comes on. The scriptures to talk about when Jesus was before um, Herod, the Bible said he gave no answer except for the kingdom. So there is a way that subordinates are supposed to operate when it comes on to people and take over them. All of that does not negate all of that does not negate the fact that you follow me only as I follow Christ. So I am not I am not bounded i am not bounded by any of what you just said pastor when you are doing runs no, no, correct no. correct no no, no. Co no, no correct no, 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 no. it's the leadership no, no hold on no, pastor yeah, no, you no, went no, to the no. text no no hold on no no no, no, no. The, the coach understand this he went to no, the no, passages no. That, no he went to these passages that speak to our behavior within a congregation all of those passages that he quoted are correct however this servant is not bounded to any of those passages when the master steps outside of what is right correct pastor no correct pastor no, pa let the pastor answer the coach listen up, listen up. what you you're chatting do you stop and listen <laughs> I'm going to tell people what to answer. You can't tell me correct. If you ask no, I'm them, asking you. I'm asking you to respond if what I said is correct. I'm not telling you to say it's correct. I'm asking you if that is correct. So tell me when you're ready to listen. I saw the pastors are sung like the JFF and Lord Donaldson. These two pastors are sung like JFF and Lord. No, which one is JFF and which one is Lord Donaldson? In which what what roles are we playing here? Because we don't know how come two pastors come for a program and I argue. When this was a set example, you can't know to know. Coach, Thank coach, you. need to control the um, forum. <laughs> coach, we can go coach. Can we love, we love right, the answer, Jerry Spring, answer, Spring, answer, Spring answer, sure. Pastor, <laughs> you, you know, I'm not arguing. So, no, answer question. I wasn't arguing either, Stenet. There are two things. There is submission, and there is obedience. Submission is a matter of the heart. So I can submit to someone and don't obey their commands. A police officer, I will submit to the authority of a police officer, but I will not obey everything the police officer says if it goes against the law. What we are saying is that as a superior, submission is important because the JFF was not asking the, 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 the 
Mr. Donaldson to do something that goes against what they have set up. So what I'm talking about is not obedience to a command given, but submission to the person who is in authority. Just like how Coach Minzi has his show, I am on it, though I have my show. If he says, man is man, be silent. It is his show in submission to him. Even though I feel like speaking, I'm going to keep quiet. What is the point I'm trying to make? I, I started out by saying, I believe how the GFF dealt with the matter was not right. I personally believe he should have been given the opportunity to sign a contract. However, like Cronky, I do believe when you speak certain way against those who are in authority, it comes with consequences. And so for us to say there ought to be no consequences when people speak against people who are in authority because the authority are not doing what God commands. That's not the world we live in. You don't come out and speak against president and prime ministers, even if they are atheists. There are consequences for that thing. That is what like we're talking about. Like the man was saying, no, go in. Yes, no, 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 one, no one said anything to that effect, no said it. But I'm listening to you. But that is what I am saying. That is what I am saying. That is what that is the point I am making. So that that is the point I'm making. While I believe that what he has accomplished is significant, and based on that, the option should have been listen. Here is what we expect. We expect that as as your superior, that, that certain things not be said in the public. Can we do that going forward and we can work out a contract for an ex, for an extension? And let him say, listen, I'm going to speak my mind. You're not going, you're not going, you're not going to curtail me. I'm going to speak my mind. I'm going to speak the same way. I'm going to say the same thing. And then you can you can say, okay, based on those things, we, we, we are in disagreement, so we can't. It should not come out that there was no discussion. We are not renewing your contract. That is what I have a bigger issue with. And, I, and I've said it before. Life is like this. If they do it to you, Coach Minzi, you always tell me this. They'll do it to me. Mm. And I'm not talking about the GFF. I'm talking about people in general. And there, there's a pattern that people have. And what needs to happen is that, listen, there is a better way to do things. You have done well. So here's the we don't like this. We don't like this. We don't like this. All right. But on the football in turn, we think you're very good for the team. So can we create a pathway where you continue doing the good for the football, but still show some level of respect? Because we know from all we have heard that a lot of this has to do with people feel like they were being disrespected whether we think they should feel that we are not because not because i'm a bad person don't mean that me not feel they disrespect me all the criminal feel like he's disrespected the corrupt police feel like he's disrespected by a civilian the poor prime minister feel like he's been disrespected by a youth to tell him that him a, him a this and him a that and call him names so no matter how evil a person is, they can still feel disrespect by their by, by persons who they lead. So, so guys, here's, here's a perfect example of where you had conflict between a target and a coach and a successful coach got fired. Do you know why Chelsea fired their coach who won a Champions League the year before? Because he disrespected their new owner. And so the, his position was untenable. He had to be fired. So Lord Donaldson's situation is, it can be equivalent to that. We are Lord didn't win any championship, but he did well. But he and the administration didn't get along. He had to go. It was inevitable. He had to go. And, wait, 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 and cranky, it's on. It's on to me, me like me Mr. Blake was saying that even though the JFF were wrong, Lord Donaldson is right to call him up because. They are wrong and they are seated in that position. I think um, I, I, I think. Go ahead, go ahead, coach. Once you're in a, a certain position, yeah, you 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 might be doing wrong in the position, and you can use you as an example. You're a bad pastor. You make that um sort of suggestion. If you're a bad pastor and the congregation is there, they should not. They should. They are not going to be held accountable because of. The wrong that you do but the book is there to guide them as well not only the pastor so if the pastor want the wrong 
in the pun him own. Every tree of his can I own. can I say something in respect of what you just deduced from what I was saying? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to use this analogy, which is stated. I'm not sure how it goes in the denomination no, that Stenet is a did part I, of. Did I, did I get you wrong? Did yes, I yes, oh. yes. Halfway, halfway. Okay. There is a code of conduct in regards to the members and pastors. When a pastor is on the floor, a member, by virtue of policy and protocols, is not supposed to take the pastor to task on the floor except on matters where the pastor has clearly deviated from the doctrinal position of the church note the general view is that the member does not have the right even if the pastor is wrong on the floor in the presence of all the other congregants, the member does not have the right to challenge the pastor on the floor, except in matters where the pastor has clearly deviated from the doctrinal position of the church. Every other disagreement must be dealt with with the pastor in person outside of the public domain. I'm going to reiterate something I said as it relates to Matthew 18. Stennett did make the position, they make the, 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 the disclosure that there are consequences for all our actions. I believe all of us as adults should have realized that by now. There are consequences. Whether those consequences are right or just is a different matter altogether, but there will be consequences. And to a large extent, these consequences will be negative. The, whether they are just or not is a different issue. So yes, Donaldson should, if he was not aware, should have been that there would be consequences for him doing things how he did it. There will be consequences. That's a given. However, Matthew 18 is there not just as a blueprint for the church family, but for the community as a whole. This is how you're supposed to operate within a community. Yes, the apostle wrote it with, within the church construct because he's a church leader. However, the church does not function or operate within a vacuum it's in a community when you and a brother or you have an issue with a brother the best case scenario is that you and the brother deal with it one and one if you did not believe it was settled amicably you then get somebody who you think the brother would be responsive or respectful of or to to try to create some kind of mediation and to show some greater light on what is the issue. Failing that, you do not give up. You get to the church board. The, and I'm using the church thing where you would get a bigger group than for the regular community. When that fails, you have still another way to go. You go to the entire family, so to speak and let the family have an input in settling the debacle get, get i believe point, i point. believe that from mr donaldson's response even if he did not go through all the steps he went through sufficient steps in his mind and he did not get the redress he expected so he went into the public domain that has consequences as then it said yes however He's not wrong because until the issue is addressed, it is a problem. And the JFF cannot be absolved of their responsibility to create an environment of peace. And communication brings about peace in greater respect than anything else, which all of us know. 
without making this a blanket statement. The JFF is the biggest failure where proper communication is concerned. And so, uh, so we, pastor, we, pastor, we... Pastor, 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 Pastor. I'm going to use more simplistic analogies. Conte mm -hmm. and Tottenham, Tuchel and Chelsea. They're, they're much more relevant analogies and examples to show a coach having dispute with management and what transpires afterwards. The coach is going to lose, and the down situation equates to these two situations. Two co the Champions League, Conte has, what, one, has been a winner all his life, came out and basically, <clears throat> I don't know if they describe what he did with Tottenham. He said they're not winners. He used a lot of words to suggest that he can't succeed because he got poor administration. And Tuchel didn't want his boss in the changing room. They both got fired because that's how life works. I have the big stick. And if you can't adhere, I'm going to use it. Lord Donaldson didn't adhere. He had to go. It's Recently. simple. Recently. We, agree. we agree on all of those points, Cranky. Recently, Recently um, there's a play at Manchester United. The coach yes. um, said some things that I think were not favorable to. I felt like the, the coach who is in charge, those sentiments, I believe, were not in the best interest of the player. The player went out and said some things in response to some of the treatment. And fairly so, he believes that he, he met it out to him. The player name is Jaden Sancho. The, the coach name is Ten Hag at a club called Manchester United. That player is asked by the coach to not be a part of the setup. All right, was the player wrong inventing what was happening? Personally, I don't believe so. But I believe when you put the coach out, exactly, how you did it and put the coach out there, there mm. is a consequence for that because of the person who is in charge who really has you at the club. So all, I'm saying is that, all, I'm saying, all I'm saying is that I believe that Ten Hag could have dealt with it differently. However, However, the player must know that when you do certain things, these things are possible. That, that's, what, that's what Cranky and I are saying, you know. Stenet, Stenet, no, Stenet. I would say the player is wrong only if the player did not seek redress within the club before going public. If the player, what if he saw, no, if he saw re redress and it was being dealt with, and he believes that it is not taking the, the, the time that he wants it to be done, and he went all the time way to go ensure say him talk where him not to talk in the public domain. Hey, hey, all right, hey, coach, coach. Hey, coach and pastor, let me just say this. Coach, coach, say this coach. You know what my mentor tell me once, coach and pastor, because I always try to be right in certain environments. You know what he tell me? Being right doesn't always make you effective. Being I, right I, I, doesn't always make you effective. Cranky, Cranky, if you had not stopped me, that's exactly where I was going to go to answer coach. Because if he had sought redress, once they did not shut him down, he still would not have the right to go to the public because it was being dealt with. Whether it was being dealt with as fast as you want it to or not yeah, is not the issue. No, I'm hold on, no, coach. Side. I am on that side, you know. I am on that side. I don't know if people are, are misinterpreting me. No, no, I was just taking issue with what you asked me a while ago. A while ago, what you just said before. I had to say so, that. I had to say that because of what you said about him seeking redress and it not happen. So I said, yeah. what if he did not get it? Um, he did not wait until the new... No, but, but, but coach, you have to... No, no. In the context of Matthew 18 that I shared, he has to be respectful to them accepting what he presented and there's something put be, be, being worked out. You, you cannot react because you don't have it your way you need to hold strain once the proper procedures are being imp implemented so if he sought redress and in any way shape or form they had put something in place or they communicated that it will be dealt with he would have not had the right to go to the public his only right to go to the public if 
he sought redress and he was shut down. And even though he is within his right to go to the public, he's not absolved of the repercussions of his, for his actions. If me I, I am not here stating. Well, well on. If me I work for an entity and they are treating me unfairly, the only time I will speak out is if I want to leave. And the, uh, when I speak out, I know the consequence of me. You, you, you have, you have rights. You have rights that would put you in a better position than that. So me, no, no, hold on, hold on, because there are legal coach, coach. And, and, and me still we, no, we no, all no. operate in societies governed by laws. If the, if the person is wrongfully terminated, you have redress. So don't 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 just shut that aside that you want to leave. If the player, if the player, in this case the coach, sought redress and did not get it, then that person, that player, Mr. Donaldson, has the right to go to the public domain. However, his rightness does not absolve him of the consequences of those actions. Because as Cranky stated, Bakramasa still have the stick. That's why I may say if and if can I, use it. When I'm going to speak, that simple means it is now my time to leave. Uh, I, I, I hear you, but I don't agree with you because of the laws that govern operation. No, but if no, 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 but, but coach, hey, pastor, pastor, some people have gone on that road, have lived that life. I'm telling you, when so you make a decision. Your contingency plan has to be, I'm also going to walk. Exactly. Me, hold on, hold because on. your position becomes untenable in most it, instances, it especially when it comes to authority, it becomes untenable. So you have to prepare that you plan to leave if things don't go in a certain direction. Right. And you start to talk. Yeah. You have to just make that um, preparation, that mindset. You have to just get that in the back of your mind. Say, yo, listen to me now, man. Me done with this. Me have to talk my mind. And, and all I'm saying is that position is not right. I know it happens a lot of times, and that is not right. It, you, you know, it happens, don't make it right. The same way him exercising his right to bring it to the public domain does not protect him or absolve him of the consequence of those actions. The, the, the unfairness or injustice meted out by those who are in authority is checked only within the construct that the wicked only strive for a season. But, but pastor, 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 well, there is no they wait, stay. Hey, coach, most coach, let me say this. Yeah, but coach, but coach and pastor, let's not be clear. There was no unfairness in this situation. No, I mean, I agree with there's that. no unfairness. His contract expired, he wasn't it, it wasn't renewed. Where's the unfairness? The unfairness <laughs> is that the unfairness is because they did not choose him in the beginning. They made his stay not comfortable by the delays and the mishaps. And so when he spoke about it, they they no, no, deemed no, themselves no, 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 justified. No, 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 no,
So him being chosen by them didn't mean that all the things that he needed to be successful he would have received. Paul Hall had some of those same issues. Coach Al Grimson had some of those same issues. The previous under 20, under 17 coach. So all of these things have happened with all the coaches that we have had, including the group of coaches who went to the first World Cup where Lauren was. It was some of the same issues and money's not being paid. Remember, they had walked away and he had gone as far as said that I would never, never. ever work with yeah. Baker because, listen, that was even worse than what happened now. So all I'm saying, though, is that he knew that. All right? So you're, and like Cronky said, you're coming into the environment knowing that. Again, how it was dealt with should have been better. So when you come into the environment, you have to be careful what you say in public. You have to be careful what you say in public. And here is why you have to be careful what you say in public. Because the persons who are over you feel disrespected. And, and remember now, they are the ones who negotiate your contract. So if I believe, what we are saying is that, if I believe, whether anybody else don't want, but if I personally believe that you are very disrespectful to me, what, 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 what the pastor is saying is that I have a right to renew your contract. I don't, because if I feel disrespected, I must, because part of working with people is not just competence and character, you know. It's I never said that, though, Stenet. No, no. Let, let me say that. What, what I am understanding from part of what you're saying, you can correct me, and I'm fine, but here's what. Working is not just about character and competence. Chemistry is important. If I believe that where you are at and where I am at, there's too much disrespect, and I don't want to work with you again. I may feel, you know, but I am willing to take that just in the same way that when something, like I said, coach, when you are going to talk about something, you know you may lose the job, you know, but it's mm -hmm. a risk that you're willing to take. Mm -hmm. So both parties must know that there's a risk in this. You don't think with an election coming up, the GFF consider. I want people to understand it. You know, things are them are things. Listen, what kind of effect this will have? Because we have an election coming up. For them to make this decision, as far as I'm concerned, it never matter whether I win or lose. It was not going to be renewed. So to me, it wasn't about performance. It was a matter of respect. Exactly. All right, it was not a clear. matter of respect Pastor, to me. Hold on, hold on, Pastor, hold on, hold on. We have some hold it more people on the panel want to say something. Brian, then Chevron. I'll yield to the pastor. All right, but could you hear what Chevron has said before then? Chevron, go ahead. All right, it's not really pretty, pretty, um, pretty into the topic. Um, pastor, I'm going to ask you, the microphone where you have, put it on the table in front of you. No, take it from around your neck, please. Come a TV speaker, I'll go blow. May I beg you to take it from around your neck and put it on the table? Oh, that's, and that's that the reason. Because you're loading, you're, you're talking loading now, please. Chevron, you save us. <laughs> <laughs> You figure it out. <laughs> coach. All right, but God, no coach. My yeah. God. All right. Since he yielded to me, I am going to reiterate something that I stated when I just joined the program. Lauren Donaldson was not hired by the JFF. So there was no way Lauren Donaldson's contract was going to be renewed. Even if he won the World Cup, they were going to look for the first opportunity to get rid of him. Because that stain on the JFF's image needed to be bleached out. So it, as was Tenet said, this is what I fully agree with him out of all that he has said. Whether he had beaten Canada, Five nil or one nil, just beat Canada and Ghana the Olympics would not change anything. The first opportunity to get rid of Donaldson was not going to be missed by the JFF. He was not hired by the JFF. The coach that the JFF hired was fired by the girls and Sidella. So the coach that the girls and Sidella hired is going to be fired by the JFF. Full stop. 
and that is why I went further than what Cranky said that Lauren Donaldson played a great role in what in his dismissal. I agree with Cranky again that Lauren should have known this that he was going to be a part of the program, do his very best, and by God's grace achieve much as he did. But this is it. And barring drastic change in the souls of the men that run the JFS, which would take divine intervention, you are not going to get a next contract. Don't bellyache about it. It has nothing to do with the, the and I'm not going to even label it outburst. It had nothing to do Pastor, with Donaldson going Pastor, to the public. Pastor, hold on. So why did the court say he believes that the reason was um him not winning the Canada game? Because if he had won the he, game, he, But that is easy, coach. That is easy. That is easy. Had he beaten Canada, I guarantee you that the government of Jamaica would have gone very close to the line of intervening in a FIFA matter if they had tried to fire Donaldson. But, but what may I say now? The, the, pu the, the public outcry, the public outcry that would have arisen had he beaten Canada and they still terminate him. Well, the JFF well, could well, not survive in Jamaica. That is a reason why he would have been, he would have continued no matter what well, happened. Well, 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 that would have been a reason. Past and coach, wait one minute. My understanding is, Don Donaldson said the reason he was given for his termination from Mr. Chung was because he did not beat Canada to qualify for the Olympic tournament. That may just say, what, um, hold on, hold um, on. It's not that he said it himself. Good, because you said he said it, coach. Right. That's why he believed. Donaldson That's a different thing. He said the reason. I'm gonna play the interview for now. I man said that he said that that way he, 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 he was said. No, but, he but, was but, told. but but I'm telling you how I interpreted what I'm I interpretation heard. of what I'm saying. You want me to play the interview? No, no yeah, coach, cool. you're right, coach, you're right, coach, you're right. He That's said that he, he said he gave that as a reason he believed because yeah. in the five minute meeting they had, he said he wasn't given yeah. a reason, but exactly. he believed the reason why. Is because of that. Because in because the five minutes, I, 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 him he said that he said he wasn't given a reason. But but based on you could talk with him, he believed that that. Management didn't didn't he say that Mr. Chung gave him the reason that the no, reason why he said he was not given a reason. Okay. And then he he re he re All right, he re clear 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 it again, coach. We hear it. Coach. While you're looking for it to play, yeah. He and this is the same way you say he believed that's that's the reason they're they're not renewing his contract. I am interpreting that being the man of experience that Donaldson is. Had he beaten Canada, the JFF would have been hamstrung exactly with him. But that would still not blind their eyes to the first opportunity that they could get rid of him. And I agree with that. Good. I so for me, for me, for me, for me, it, it is it is in his mind. If he had beaten Canada, despite everything that he has said, he would have had more leverage. Yes. Yeah. He would have had more leverage. Yeah. Uh, coach, you um, you want me to play it for you? Go on, no. Let me see if we can hear it. I the whole device stuff got transferred. Hold on, wait. Okay. Uh, I right. Twenty-four hours. You Notice. hear it? And they say that I must bring a representative. Remember now, I'm leaving the following morning. I must bring a representative to the meeting. I had a representative. It wasn't about country. It was about all the promises that we're gonna play, um, Colombia and Puerto Rico, and you know all the debacle in England and all the stuff that happened that I. You know, I have it all documented anyway. And I know, and so it was about that because the question was about that. But it came about because of the Walker Brown incident. And my representative had an emergency. I wasn't given 24 hours, okay? And by HR, any kind of standard, you need 24 hours for a meeting. So I told him I can't make it because my, my, my they say bring a representative. My, 
my representative wasn't there. It wasn't about contract, absolutely nothing to do with this, to do with this kind of stuff. So again, we had a discussion with the committee in the morning. So I so had another meeting again. And I, so I didn't go. I said, we can reschedule because I'm leaving the following morning. So that, that was it. But I wrote them back and tell them that my representative is not available. I'm not going to make the meeting, meeting because of that, because you said bring one. I don't have one to bring because, you know, less than 24 hours to get somebody to represent you in a meeting like that is very difficult. And now fast forward to today, obviously you went to the World Cup. We know what happened. The team reached the round of 16. Then you had the back-to-back -back games against Canada. You're back in Jamaica. You were called to a contract negotiation meeting. There was no negotiation. I walked into the meeting. First thing I said, Mr. Chong had a book, looked like a Bible. I said, man, you're reading the Bible. He said, no. Um, we, you know, we sat down. Um, Denzel Wilkes was supposed to be coming in just to see. He sat, he, he sat with um, the president was supposed to be in the meeting. Apparently, he wasn't there because most of the meeting that we have and the president is supposed to be there, they find a way not to invite him, so he wasn't there. So, Susie, Miss Susie George Game was there. She sat right next to me. He was in front of me. I shook his hand. I sat down. We, he, he said, for the first time, he said, congratulations on the World Cup and Canada. He said, and I said, thank you. He said, the Canada game is a hard fight. Part game. I said, yes. I said, we must remember that Canada is one of the top team in the world. And they're the defending, you know, Olympic champ. And we're just a, a country who's trying to, you know, get by. And I said to him, I said, the last time Jamaica and Canada played a game like this, this is not a discussion we had, was in 2021 or 2020. I said, one of those dates, I forgot the date to fall, but it was actually 2020. Jamaica, I said, what was the score of that game? And Mr. Chung says, I have no idea. And I said, well, we must know how far we have come because that game was 9-0. And now we're battling with Canada. So we're up and going. Then after that, we, we just kind of passed and he said, you know, this meeting is about, you know, he didn't say much, but he just said, I want to say to you that um, we're not, tomorrow is the 30th, and we're not going to renew your contract. No discussion, no nothing, just just like that. Tomorrow is the 30th, and we, we are not going to renew your contract. Did you ask why? I didn't ask why. So they're going to renew the contract. I don't need, he doesn't need a discussion right there. You need to ask for a rationale or No, no, no. He said he's not going to renew it. So, I mean, with me and him sitting there, well, I, I can't ask why, because he's going to just, you know, say he's not going to renew the contract. He, he gave me, no, he, but he gave me the why already. Your contract is up. In his words, he said the contract is up on the 30th. Okay, this was his why. The contract is up on the 30th. If we had um, move on to the Olympics, they would have honored it. They would have to honor it. There That's what go. he said. So that was there the why for him. But because of the 30th, we're not, and, and you're out of the Olympics, we're not going to renew the contract. And I said, look at him. I said, thank you very much for the opportunity, the federation. You know, you, you have a great group, group of girl, girls moving forward and coaching staff. Good luck. So there you go. So wait, 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 wait. Before we say anything about there you go, Kyle, getting all on his horse about there. Go on, tell me. We have no, <laughs> we have no way of knowing that the man is telling the truth. Oh God, We have no way of knowing the truth. Cranky, for, for, oh God, come on, bro. First, you want to attribute it to him saying it. No, you want to say that that you go. Come on, Cranky. Come on. Well, Cranky, Kyle. if he if he is telling anything other than the truth, he should be fired. Again, they would be no. I'm not saying Dawson is lying. I'm saying, how does Dawson know what the JFF is telling the case? Come, come again. Because for change the contract doesn't mean they were going to do. It. Yeah, but they had to use that cranky. They have to use something. I've got exactly. Right. There is no way to use that contract. Yeah. He also hinted that that you know that they would basically just tell him a reason why they don't want to renew his contract. Exactly. You know, but you know, I mean, to renew. right. I mean, you know what? We all agree on the issue from what I am hearing. It's just that we are um, talking over each other more than anything else. 
you know, but, you know. That's what I said. Like, my position is, if that is exactly how the discussion went, I believe, given the performance of the team under his leadership, right, we know that there are many things he wants to change. He, he, remember he said recently, we are 10 years behind, mm. right? Rightly so. So, therefore, there are certain demands that he wants for the program to get better. Give him a contract and say, listen, we would love to extend your contract. All right? What, what do we need to change? Then he may say, like, listen, we need five buses for the girl. We need our own private jet. You understand me? Just stuff. And then you can say, well, you know what? We cannot provide that and so those things. So based on that, we don't think it is in our best interest to renew the contract because we can't meet the demands that you have. But to so 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 like you like you right fully saying you know, um manning's man it wasn't a contract negotiation you know yeah, exactly out, it, 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 it out, you know? exactly so that is my biggest issue with it because based on what he was saying he said that he was being invited to a meeting to mm. have a discussion about the contract but there was no discussion i think in principle that was not dealt with the right way so to man me, is back. To me, man is back. What, he was not in the scared. Huh? That's a negotiation. He was but he was only come to the meeting so I can fire you in person. That's all that. <laughs> so my, my, my that's what I'm saying. So my thing is that I get from that that listen, they had this plan long ago and they wanted to get it done by the 30th. They didn't want it to go past the 30th. So they tried to do it as soon as possible, regardless of who would be there. Get one witness in the room, right? If he can bring a representative, bring a represent, bring an next witness. We we'll get this dealt with, get this done bam. Get it out the way. Because if it goes to the first of October, then we we are in problems. So I think the decision was made long ago. That is why we were hearing some of the things we were hearing, both from um, associated with the program and Lauren himself. You kind of felt the like decision was made from the day they fired Zin Blair. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, by the way. <laughs> yes, and the girls made it harder because they were successful. They, 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 the girls made it yes, that anticipated. Yes. <laughs> Okay. I think we we are in agreement. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we are from day one. <laughs> from day one. They never hire him, so they never plan to keep him none at all. I but, just if you're if you're a deal, um allow him to be so long. But you know, let me just say one thing though. This thing about consequences. Listen, Lauren knew the consequences, but I don't think that the JFF knew the consequences of firing Lauren. I believe that no, they are figuring out that there are repercussions for that action. Well, you think they care? Ah, uh, hello, of course. Coach, no, permit no, me, no. permit me to quote. I don't like to do this too often, you know. But permit me to quote Cranky. The JFF is only up in them feelings. They're not business with no result and no repercussions and no, nothing. No, no, no. Wait, wait. They're not business. No, 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 no. When you start losing money, you start caring. Ah, uh, hello. The JFF. This man forgets that the JFF, the JFF ran a failed program. The women football in Jamaica was dead before she did the Mali. Well, I mean. Dead, dead, dead. Don't no, 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 come with that, brother. That's no JFF administration. Money. That's what am I lose money, Kyle? That is a good point. I, I take that back. Oh. Because, <laughs> believe me, boy. The gentlemen. Gentlemen. Is, gentlemen. Kyle. Can I ask, I'm, I'm probably the older person, because I'm not so old. At what point of our history was the JFF making money? That's a good question. Kyle yield again. <laughs> no, well, well, you know what? That's a good question. Cranky, the last time you had Mr. Chung on the program, he said that the JFF, the JFF had a legacy debt of $1.3 million. When they made they a surplus. A, a, a debt. Of one point three million dollars. No, but me I said that when they make money, me answer uh, Manning's question. They made a surplus. No, no, hold, hold on. Up. So now they qualify for the World Cup and they got one point eight million US from FIFA, and they advance out of the the, the the round. And I believe that they got some more money. So basically, looking at it from afar, they should be able to catch up with some of that legacy debt. If not, pay off most of it. 
no, but you can't use all that money to pay off the legacy. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm just that. saying, you know, it's a big jump I from 1.3 million. You know, that, that basically brought in a lot of money. Plus, you're counting all of those jerseys and that were sold. What, what say you, Cranky? Well, I have no idea how the JFF called money. Because, you know, I was confused. <laughs> <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen. Somebody have a fun of blue. Um, gentlemen. They want to drive with the car window open. No, my car window <laughs> closed. My car, window. my car, listen to me. I, I, I drive a 2020 car. So you can't get no noise from my car from outside. No, I mean, I drive a Bentley, but, but, <laughs> you know, I'm driving a new enough car, so it, you're not going to get a whole heap of sound from it unless my wind on the window, my window is off. Here's the thing what is done is done, and we can't turn back the hands of time, it will never reverse look it doesn't matter what we say what we do the jff know that there's gonna be some backlash but after it's jamaica after two weeks everything is died on and everything is back with, to now with respect, with respect to my senior mr porter based on experience that is not altogether true the jff had fired Vin, had hired vin blaine and refused to get rid of him but the end of that is that the girls terminated him. So that statement that you just made, you will go on to make your point from it, but it's not altogether true, based on experience. We have to wait and see. Gentlemen, we have three minutes to close the show, you know. Yeah. Coach, we're talking about close show. Well, we're still not well here, Coach, go ahead, Go ahead, Pastor. Here's the here's the thing, Pastor. <laughs> here's the thing. There is there is nothing that we say or do is going to um get back Lauren Donaldson that job and most of over with a man of his integrity he would have never ever take that job again well, because, no, uh, he made that he made that statement and he came back because the girls requested him right so Maybe with a different administration, that statement will change too. But uh, I wouldn't make that statement ever. Yeah, me, me, me either. Well, 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 okay. Let me <laughs> yeah, restate so it. <laughs> not with, not with this present yeah, administration. Like that. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Not, better. not with this present administration. You know what is done is done. JFF is the JFF. It's their thing. What are you gonna do? What are we gonna do? Can't do anything about it. Devon. Can't do anything about it. Devon, you must not use a word to define that same word. Don't say the JFF is the JFF. The JFF is what? Define the JFF, Devon. Come on. <laughs> I know you went to good school. Huh? I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> anyway, Listen, I'm I am not. I am not going to go there because if I should. Devon, do you work JFF. for the JFF? You look like you're afraid you lose your job. No. Are you working no. for the JFF? No, no. <laughs> never, been, never been employed to the JFF. <laughs> well, not fresh uncle Devon, so. <laughs> All right, Devon, Devon is my big brother. He has to know when I'm on the program, he has to walk the line. Right. <laughs> gentlemen um, i'm going to check out so i want you all to join me and management tomorrow at 5 p.m to um meet the member of the band who was playing in the stadium at all three games so i'll see you all tomorrow and it was a good night thank you gentlemen all right big up kyle mm. all right cranky i hear your time and i hear sure you know Apologize, coach. I have some noise in my background here because my headset keeps messing up. But and so we, we, we close our soon. I mean, I have to go. I don't, I, my headset, my headset, my, my battery is low in my headset. But I'll say this. Well, this uh, what can I watch you look? Can't get that boy. <laughs> 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 you're about, you're about to, you're going to go. 
Hey, cranky, yeah, what's good? Three percent. By association, he has become changed. Yes. <laughs> cranky is spending too much time on Mr. Speed. <laughs> Like in gone far though. Yeah, uh, man, what you did I say? My, my thing is this, you know, like the two things we, 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 we must always see we must always seek to do things the best way. There will never be a way that uses everybody. But one thing I know is this you don't care how much you know until you know much you care. We, we are in a culture called Jamaica. When it comes on to men across Jamaica, um, you see this word respect and, and disrespect, like disrespect. So that word has caused more people to die in Jamaica than, than alcohol, accidents, weed, partying, and money. I, I put it to you that more than 70% of the crime we experience in our country, we experience it because somebody feel like somebody is disrespected. And until as a society, the male population of Jamaica get to the place where, you know, we, we get crocodile skin or something, where we, 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 we listen to people's heart more than be offended by their words, we're going to keep having this thing. The issue with our football permits, the cricket, governance, school, health, is right throughout our culture. You go into in the States when you're there, the, the, the Jamaican dominated society, respecting people is important. You have to dress to be respected, spoken to in a way that is respectful or it creates issues. And I think a lot of what we've seen in the football is people feel like somebody disrespect them. And they must show that I, I'm going to show you that who is the boss, and who is in charge. Because at the end of the day, if you don't show me respect, you can't be a party candidate. And until we can fix that as a society, we're going to have problems. Just right across. And, and, and with that being said, I want to bring up what my BB core. For you to step on the next little clock and this year, this him. So I'm supposed to dead, beaten to a state of unconsciousness. Wow. Because the man feel like so. you step on a general clock, then a respect big man. Wow. I will beat a 14 year old to the point of death. Wow. Because of that. And until that can change, I tell you, no matter who is in charge or who is in power or who lead it, male or female, we're going to have these issues. We have to start listening to people's heart. Because people don't care what we know until they know how much we care. And, and that would be my final plea, not just for the football, but for the entire Jamaica. Capping that Manning's man. Pride comet before the fall. The same way that are those students involved in the beating at BB Coke was so prideful that a clerks is of that greater value. Did not count the cost of the actions that proceeded from them. Because where him a go, he will never put on a clerks. Put that to the JFF. Because of your discriminatory actions towards the coach, which is an outcome of your failings, you, the same way he faces the consequence of speaking about the ills of your actions or lack thereof, you can terminate him. The JFF needs to understand that they will now have to operate within the construct of terminating the most productive coach in Jamaica's footballing history. And I can tell them this, they better get an angel from heaven wheeling a magic wand because this is not done. Donaldson's termination 
is the prideful action of the JFF. And it will be followed by the fall of all those who have to do with his rejection. Because they may not even call it termination. Because they didn't hire him. And there is where I finish. Yeah, man. Big up, big up, big up. And this is where the show ends as well. You know? Big up to everybody. I think it was this this show tonight was 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 one of the epic ones. Very good discussion. Even though we were loud sometimes and we were quiet sometimes. And we were talking over each other sometimes. We were laughing at times. Still one of the one of one of the epic ones, you know what I mean? So big up yourself, Pastor Blake. Big up yourself, Pastor Stennett. Big up yourself, Coach Devon. Big up cranky big up uh everybody who came on to the um the the the, 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 the panel and you have brian you have football religion you have chevron paired yeah man everybody in the comment section those who are watching and could not comment big up yourself stay safe until next time peace out we'll be back tomorrow for the final night of the weekend triple three i'm out your style your flavor make the city rock they must say the season come out with a bang. Coach Minzi, best round here. Remember that.